I was just kneeling on the ground behind my chair. It's really uncomfortable. I I I keep forgetting to to call the moving company to move my chair and like my TV and stuff. Like all of the bigger things that I couldn't fit in my car. Did you guys know that I I did the like the 1000 kilometer journey in a freaking Toyota Camry and almost everything that I owned fit in a Toyota Camry before I moved? Like, <laughs> I didn't have a lot of stuff. Shouting along. Dude, thank you for the 10 subs. We should get a new sub goal that's something that's better than I give you a high five because it's clearly just a joke one. Minecraft some bitches. Um, maybe may, we might. I don't know. It depends. Uh... Snorlax fits in the Toyota. It was empty. It didn't have any stuffing yet. I had to buy stuffing. $400 worth of stuffing, by the way. Jesus. He takes a lot of stuffing. Who, who would have knew? Who would have known? A life-size Snorlax plush takes an insane amount of stuffing. All right. Um, Eat a bowl of cereal for 8,000 subscribers. I think we have milk and cereal. Play Roblox? I, never again. Played like played like Gonzarkias. I already beat it. <laughs> Why are you not giving everyone a chat a high five? Yeah. We haven't done Breath of the Wild stuff in a while. I could just say go for top. What is top 100 in Breath of the Wild? Because I think we beat like... I think I, I, like, achieved pretty much all of my Breath of the Wild goals, didn't I? Or did I not get sub-30? Wait, what's my PB in Breath of the Wild? Small ant. 32-21. Okay. Are any of my friends... Wait, Nitro has a 31-23? Why does Limcube have a 30-51? Does Lim oh, wait, that's probably non-amiibo. Wait, wait, wait. Because we, we already got a sub... Uh, whatever, let's check. Uh, ami I'm just going to check the amiibo runs. Okay, if we look at amiibo runs, I am... Where am I? 32. Yeah, I'm 101 with amiibo runs. That's crazy. Play Hollow Knight any percent? Is that run, like, not fun? I remember seeing that wasn't fun. House tour? I don't want to give a house tour. I I, I don't know. I, a little privacy. But the while bingos are fun. Did one by yourself to strategize? We could, yeah. Show us your socks. I'm not wearing any socks today. Do you have the amiibos? Yeah. The stream is lag. No, it's not. Zero drop frames, baby. Wandering Willow. Thank you for the five subs. What was the hardest thing about moving? Manual labor. It sucks. Yeah. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. I, I don't I don't see anyone other than I guess Nicro is the only person who has like a faster run than me that I that I like know pretty well. Well Limcube, but we're not gonna beat Limcube's time. Limcube is is too too speedy of a fella. I don't, I think I don't think I have enough time to dedicate. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna sit in my chair now. Ten subs, Josh. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Play horror games? Would it be fun to play horror games? What's your Minecraft PB? It's like 15, 10, I think. All right. The horror games? Uh, I could try like horror game with VR. Because I think I have room for VR now. I remember the last time... There's there's only one time that I've played a horror game in VR. And I was just screaming the whole time. It was some like cheap Slenderman game. And I was getting chased by a thing. It was like 10 years ago. FNAF 2. Subnautica below zero. Everybody said it's just Subnautica but worse. 
You can have a separate room for VR. I have a room, like the Snorlax room, the room that Snorlax is in. Half of it is taken up by Snorlax, and the other half is just empty. Actually, I think it has, like, magic cards strewn about, because I've, I've been playing some magic. I, I, I whipped together a, a commander deck, and we've been playing a, a little bit. Do you live alone? Nope. Annabelle is here. <clears throat> it is so nice just sitting on the carpet playing cards. It's so, so nice. Snorlax reveal once he's full. Once he's full. Oh man, have a nice death. Is that a game or is that a threat? <laughs> what commander? Uh, Voral of the Hullclade. It's the only legendary creature I own. <clears throat> it's like a plus one plus one counter deck metal tomcat thank you for the freaking bits okay we got to get into this game i'm gonna play some music as well let's do some like uh i, I want to catch up wait what is this clip small ant finds out about his offline chat wait what wait last friday you guys sent 600 messages in my chat who was typing in my chat on last Friday? I hadn't streamed for a week. Right. <laughs> I was just, I didn't know what I found out about offline chat. Bro, you're running low on clips? Okay. Okay. Um. I, we'll get some good clips for today, okay, Ryan? Um, d does anybody want to know my hidden talent? Uh, shit, I got it. I'm just let me think. I gotta find. I gotta think of a hidden talent. I can't come up with anything quickly enough. Well, I'll, we'll retry this in in like 15 minutes when I think of a hidden talent. Okay, we'll we'll redo, we'll redo this. I'm talentless. Sing a song for us? No. Do another Soul Link Nuzlocke? You know what, Rice Master? Just for you? I'm going to do one with CJ on Monday. We also already happen to be doing that. But we are on Monday. Uh, let, you know, let's just get into this. I'm just going to run around in game and talk. All right. Wouldn't be hidden if you told us. Correct. Not hidden yet. Not quite. All right. Do a backflip. Uh, uh, why? Why is it suddenly so framey? Wait, why is it so framey? Do you guys see that? Why is it running 30 F? What happened? Max frame rate 150. V sync on 30 FPS. You need more GPUs. I have a th wait. What is auto jump on? What the fuck? Excuse me. Uh. Is that why it feels so weird? It reset all of my... We played 1.8 yesterday. And it reset all of my hotkeys. <laughs> Sprint. Sneak. Multi-MC would have avoided this. Okay, you know what, Crinios? I'll do it for you. E, so I'm with left hand. Le F. Toggle perspective. Okay. FOV is 90. Good. All right. Oh. Anyways, what are we doing today? I think these are the only things that we have left. We have to do whatever floats your goat. Tame every cat. And that, 
Wait, is that it? We, I think that's it. it. We, we have two advancements left. We have one point nineteen. Maybe we'll add one point nineteen in. Will this be a video. It's gonna be one very long video. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna get as complete as possible. Does 1.19 open up any new options? Oh yeah, what time are we at, by the way? Does anyone remember? I'm pretty sure 1.19 allows you to get clay easier. Other than that, I don't know. 195 hours and 4 minutes. Alright, let's get some music in the background. To some, uh, This one. How's that for volume? Good? Hope so. Haven't watched Skyblock, don't know what's happening. You know what? I haven't played Skyblock in almost a month because of the time off with stream and stuff, and we just haven't had the opportunity to. So, do you guys want a, a quick refresher on everything that we've done? A brief history? Of Skyblock? Alright. Uh, we're gonna give you a brief history. So at the start of Skyblock, we set phases and goals. You know, this was the, the phase one cobble generator, you know, entering the nether, a general mob farm, some, some basic veggies, chicken, expanding the island. The basics, we did that. Phase two, we wanted to reach a fortress location. Fortresses don't exist, but the little bounding boxes that, that make mobs spawn in fortresses are still there. A little bit louder. All right. You know, purifying zombie villagers with the witch. And, you know, in a mob farm, a witch and a, and a thing. And then the golden apples from the nether. You know, automatic building block farm. I think we technically kind of did that. Didn't really do that. We did that with snow. It's not really automatic, but I think we called it one. Uh, we found a jungle biome, found a snow biome, made a dripstone farm. That took forever. That one was huge. Um, made an iron farm, you know, a passive animal farm. It's just where you... A passive animal farm being like, you know, a, a green... Uh, just a grass area away from spawn. A villager trading post and a wandering trader farm. We did all that. Then we did all the setup for phase four, which is a slime farm, honey farm, kelp farm, an auto wood farm, a wither skeleton and blaze farm. Bamboo farm, we got coral, piglin trading facility set up. Got an actual good gold farm, the machine, and an ice farm. And then phase four, where we made a witch farm. Specifically, a witch farm that generates potions, because we don't actually need witch drops. Um, made a guardian farm for guardian-related blocks. We got fully full diamond tools armor with perfect enchants. Totems of Undying, because of the raid farm. A level four beacon. Got a trident. We got every bucket type. And additional goals, you know, just nautilus shells. The hard to get stuff, like nautilus shells, flowering azalea, oxidized copper blocks. Block of Lapis. All, every single type of potion that's possible to obtain. Uh, we got the turtle shell from turtles. Uh, we got all the sapling types. We got wither roses. All the mob heads. We got another lava bucket, blue axolotl. The rare one in 1200. Now the only thing left in Skyblock to do for our goals is every possible advancement. That's all that's left. And the only two advancements that we haven't done that we could do... Because we've done every one. We can't do these two because we can't get Amethyst. We can't kill everything because we can't go to the end. We can't do this because we can't get Diamonds. We can't get Netherite. There are no chests that generate for the War Pigs advancement. We did get all potion effects at the same time. That one was super sick. We were able to get uh, a Warped Fungus on a stick, which was super cool. Um, we do still need to tame all cat variants. That's something we can do. We can't breed everything. Because we cannot breed foxes and mushrooms, we cannot get to spawn. But we can get a goat to spawn. We're going to have to do that today at some point. And, uh, yeah. How are you going to get a black cat? It's a little difficult. We can never get diamonds. We can never enchant stuff because we can never get diamonds. And we can never get to the end. But that's it. It's cats and goats. Uh, the other advancements that we can't finish, but I may just do as much as I can, are these. The monsters hunted. Just kill some extra things. Uh, breed a few animals. And a balanced diet. These are kind of just like stretch goals. 
But yeah. Goat and cat. Uh, I need something that... W find a tree and punch it to collect wood. Why... Why is it telling me to do that? Oh, I forgot my timer, right. Because the 1.8. Hello? Why is it... That was weird. 196 hours. How do you turn the tutorial off? Why is this? Why did it reset those? I don't know. Weird. 196 hours, then I've never punched a tree. I'm not a caveman. Okay, I gotta figure out what the hell is going on with the frame rate here. Because, like, why is it running at 30 FPS? RAM allocation? Alright, let me allocate more RAM real quick. Funky. Skyblock. Installations. Skyblock settings. Edit. Uh more options is it the xmx it says 2g do i change that to a higher number what should i change it to i have 64 gigabytes of ram do i give it what like 63 Like, eight, you might as well. Actually, I'm just going to check how much RAM is being used right now. 35% of my RAM. I think I actually have 32 gigabytes. So, I'm just going to give it eight. And see if that's excessive or not. Alright, let's try it. Goals for today. Those are the goals for today. Tame all cat types and float a goat. Too much actually decreases performance. Really? Uh-oh. You guys said the music was too quiet, right? Is Minecraft gonna start? Why is 100% of my CPU being used right now? Literally 100% of my CPU is being used. Well, I guess you guys get to see my desktop. Yeah, whatever. Okay, my, it, it was just... Get more computers. Stop mining. Is something mining crypto? No, Minecraft just takes insane. Why is there a monk of steer on your desktop? Just in case. That was weird. I, it says I didn't drop a single frame. Weird. Alright. Let's see if this works now. I have new folder 20. Did you guys see my new folder 23? Okay, so it seems like that actually lowered my frame rate. Um, my frame rate is actually lower. Maybe not. 42. What the heck? I should really, yeah, delete system 32 is taking up too much usage. Okay. 
Why don't you have Optifine? Oh, would that help? Optifine for... What is this? Sorry about this. I want to just tell stories, you know? Optifabric. Optifabric is a mod that can be used to use Optifine on a fabric mod loader. It does this by taking Optifine opti mod and making it compatible with the op It does not contain Optifine. You must download it at runtime. Okay, so I can download this one. And then Optifine 1.18.1. We're running on 1.18.1 for now. Uh, more. Show all virgins. Download. All right, all right, all right. Sorry about this. I don't know why it's it's running so differently now. Actually, I know why it's running. So, it's not running differently at all. So, chat, here's what happened, right? In my old setup, I had three monitors. One was a 30 FPS monitor. One was a 60 FPS monitor, and one was a 144 hertz monitor. The thing is, the 60 and 144 hertz monitor would flicker unless I changed my settings to 30 FPS. So, I may have been using a computer with 30 FPS on every monitor for the last couple years. And so I didn't notice when I had less around 30 FPS, because that's just what it was. Um, now that I can go above 30 FPS, I actually notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of me, okay? I had a really janky setup for a really long time. So now I'm actually going to go a little a little above that. It's going to be really... Okay, the stream might crash again. I'm sorry. There's, like, nothing I can do about it. Because, like, it apparently when you start up Minecraft, it takes 100% of your goddamn CPU. Here we go. 14%. 14, 19%, 16%, 21. Okay, it's still chilling around 20. Oh, 60 Oh, it only went up to 60% there. Huh. 80%? 100%! <laughs> the CPU is maxed out! The stream is dying! Lovely. Uh, really great. Really great how the stream just basically dies problem solved refresh borderless options video settings holy crap uh smooth fps on dynamic updates off blah 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 blah, blah. gui scale frame rate max frame rate v-sync all right whatever let's see if this works baby Please, please tell me we have good frame rates now. Uh. It, it barely helped. Turn V-Sync off. Oh my god. V-Sync was ass. It's so smooth now. Wow. It was the V-Sync. Hey, look, there's our blue axolotls. Okay, so goals for today. Tame all cat types. Say hi to me or you die. Hi. Whatever floats you go, complete catalog. Uh, so I think th that's gonna take a while to get a complete catalog. Go into performance settings and turn on stuff like fast render and smart math. Video setting. For you mean like this? Yeah. Good. 
V-Sync is really only for low-end systems. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Is there going to be a YouTube video about Skyblocks? Yes, there is. Okay, so, um, I think the first thing we need to do is we need to make a village where cats can spawn. So let's do that to start, right? Is the goat quest breeding two goats? No, the goat quest is getting a goat, putting it in a boat, putting it in water, and riding around in the water with the goat. That's all we got to do. But yeah, we'll just need to put dirt in a mountain to get a goat. So what we'll probably end up doing is, like, we'll just have to wait for a goat spawn, which it shouldn't take too long. Um, because, you know, we'll just take some grass and do it. You don't even need the water? Oh, okay. Cool. Uh... Why do we have all this stuff here? My inventory is so clogged up. Let's get rid of this right now. Uh, farming stuff here. Bang, bang. No, the raw mutton does not go in there. The raw mutton goes in the meat chest. We're just going to sort this out. 3,000 beta. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. I got to thank you guys for some subs. I've been missing out on them. Bobby, Manya, Flapjack, Kitsuda, Jayhawk. 3,000 beta with the Prime as well. Rich Dragon, Last Fate, Nico. Thank you for the subs. There's a few others that have scrolled off screen, but uh, thank you. Can you join the server? Yep. What's wrong with the timer? Nothing. We're at 196 hours. Is it possible to get a time lapse of the island's growth? I wish, but no. I, I, I did not have the foresight to do that. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna just, we have a blackstone chest. Let's just deposit all of our blackstone, nether blocks. I just gotta get rid of, why do we have 47 leads? Right, that's from killing... All right, I forgot. That was from killing wandering traders. Right. They deserved it, trust me. Wait, why... Why am I using this random diamond axe instead of bonk? What the heck? Oh, right. It was just to, to kill the wandering traders, right? We should put the witch killer back. Let's do that right now. Tropical fish. Miscellaneous chest. Keep our boat. I don't know why I have three buckets of water. That's a little excessive. We probably just need one. Put the red flower away. This is full of junk. Oh, we just gotta clean up a lot of this clutter right now. I'm sorry. But we're we're cleaning up a lot of the clutter. We it's been it's been too long. We gotta clean up this trash, dude. Another uh, blocks. Bang, bang, bang. But yeah, now I feel like the last few days I haven't been able to talk to you guys because I've been stuck in all these random events that I signed up for like a month ago and then forgot about that are like one after the other. What can we talk about? There's so many things that have happened recently. So many things. This could be important. Um, thank you, Divine. I will do that. Um, just testing if you could type here. Shot a message. I can't send. Yes. Oh! Wait, did Opt Optifine got rid of Nether Fog? Yo, we're actually able to see some of the, the farms now. Yo, so that's our Magma Cube farm. Um, there's the machine over there. That's kind of nice. That one, I don't know. We're gonna have to destroy a lot of these little networks in the in the end. You have a new story to tell? I probably have so many stories to tell. Cause like... We... Like... I, I did... I was gone for like almost two weeks moving and stuff. There's so many things that have happened. Hmm... You can zoom with C as well. I think tab... Yeah, tab is my zoom button. Yeah, I just came to put the witch killer back. But yeah, this is our, uh, our witch farm. Uh, that generates potions. I'm pretty sure we took a lot of the potions, but yeah. It generates speed potions, healing potions, and uh, water breathing potions. But let's go back to base. Here we go. But I moved. Yes, I did move. Um, I was going to upload a video last night, but I got bored of doing the, the intro, so I didn't upload it. Uh, there will be a video today, though. 3,000 beta. Thank you for the 5,000 5, more subs. Thank you. Prodigy. Mickey Mob. Jackie, the bubble turtles, thanks for the subs. 
How do you feel about the UK's decision to send Assange back to the USA? I, I don't know anything about it. Uh, isn't Assange, like, Swedish or something? What's Julian Assange's nationality? Julian Assange's nationality is Australian. Why are they sending him back to the US? Shouldn't they send him back to Australia? How does that work? No, that's... Oh, right. Not nah, just sweet. Sorry. I, I mix up all those... Everyone. All the time. My bad. America just asked really nicely. To prosecute. Oh. Okay. I don't really know anything about it. So, I don't feel anything. We keep streaming with the wall instead of the green screen. I'll stream with a green screen. Uh, it's just, I haven't set it up yet. He leaked American intelligence. <laughs> American and intelligence in the same sentence. <laughs> he says, streaming to an audience of 80% Americans. All right. Can you join server? You can join a server. Yeah, sure. Go for it. You don't have to ask me for permission. Probably ask your parents though. Uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta get like a village sorted out with like cats and stuff. So let's uh, let's go make just a pit for cats to spawn in. And uh, unfortunately, there will be some cat murder today. I'm sorry. It. Sometimes that's just what needs to happen. Uh, we also need to spread some more grass, I think. Uh, 32 might be enough. Ooh. Unfollowed, whatever. Do you have a Discord? Yep. I do. How do you get a goat? We're gonna go to a mountain biome and get one to spawn. Yeah, I knew we had some wood left. All right, for your sub goal, you should ask Marissa on a date. No, I shouldn't. That'd be really weird. I already have a girlfriend. That would be so cring, dude. Breed the obese felines. They're not, I think they're actually not o obese in any way. Uh, we're going to make a little bucket for villagers up here, I think. Story time. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about- I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, there's so many- so many story-worthy things that have happened. I just gotta figure out how to- Ooh, look at all these villagers. Perfect, that's gonna create a nice big village. What's the maximum cats that could spawn in a village? Anybody know the number? Five? How many villagers need to spawn? How many villagers need to exist for five cats to spawn? And how frequently do they spawn? I'm just gonna go- I'm gonna check. At least one? But yeah, like, lots. I need a number though. You need 20 beds. 20 beds and 20 villagers? Or... Like... 20 owned beds. I can do that. Sub goal, fight the Snorlax? Maybe. It's been looking at me funny. One cat per four beds. I like the way you've put that. That's good. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna check cat spawns. Cat Minecraft. All right, cat Minecraft spawning. Spawning. Spawn every one minute. They can spawn. What is the chance? They don't despawn. Uh, 
drop, seeds drop string. Uh, we do need a black cat. Now, the thing about black cats is, uh, black cats may only spawn during a full moon. So, we need to have a night at a full moon where we just murder cats for 10 minutes straight until a black cat spawns. That's the only way to get a black cat. <laughs> um, just murder, murder cats. But we need 20 beds right now, so let's go get that out of the way. Uh, do we have that much? Okay, it looks like we do have that much wool. Uh, we have this as well. Or in witch huts? Yeah, well, I don't think they respawn in witch huts. Black cats initially spawn with the witch hut, witch hut generation, but they don't, like, stay, I think. Uh, 21 beds. We're just gonna start with this. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little military base style thing, except there's... No, it's just gonna be like a... A, 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 a triple... A quad... Pentuple king? Bed? Or something? First time on the stream, welcome to the stream! Wait, how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One more for 10. Bang! And then we're gonna do another section like so, I think. And we're just gonna make a very large uh, village. If you could call it that. Um, imagine using clickbait in a live stream. I would never. This could be the last one. If we get, uh, if we get the full moon cats, it is the final sky block. Well, maybe not. At least for the advancements. Because we might want to just do, like, one where we actually have, like, a nice aesthetic island all built, you know? Alright. Let's get the rails now. Yeah, because we gotta rail these village- We gotta move these villagers with the rail to the village that we've made. Rails. Bang, 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 bang. Good. Okay. Ayo! Wh what? Someone clip that. Ryan already said thanks. It's too late. YouTube's gonna see it now. Poor villagers? Yeah. They had to wait this long. Alright, sub 250 hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Bang, 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 bang. But, like... Alright, this is gonna take a, a minute or two. Uh, I'm just gonna do this, I think. Boom! Can I escape from this easily? I need to make like a trap door to, to run in and out more easily. Yeah, that'll work. Okay! Because we're going to need to get 20 villagers over there. The villager won't walk over the whale anyway. Won't walk over the whale. Yeah, they can slip out sometimes. Okay, this might work. I'm not exactly sure. This guy might get turned around. Okay. Boom. Boom. There's three villagers. We want them to all go to bed. Why only 19 beds? We need them to rail in there. Bang, bang. One. Two. Okay. Because, <laughs> yeah, the villager breeder has been going in full force. Those two villagers have been... ...busy, shall we say. Why are they not taking the beds?
I might need to add like a roof. They're locked in a military base in the sky. Yeah, but if I was locked in a military base in the sky, I'd want to have a good sleep at least. The very least. I mean, come on. This frame rate difference is actually so huge. I, it's, it's ridiculous. Why does no one want to go to bed? Don't make me bonk you guys. Because it wasn't night time. Oh, wait, it was night. It was. They don't sleep if it's raining? That's weird. They just don't sleep if it's raining or something. Too much coffee? Maybe I've had too much coffee. Scared of the lightning. As they should. Hey, ah, ah, ah. No. Okay, a bang. Ha, ha, ha. Go back. There we go. Got the whole squad in here. Villagers are weird. Yeah, maybe they just took time to update and find the bed. Wait, is this a full moon? Oh, it was a full moon. Okay, every night until uh, every night until another full moon hits, we have to just sleep through it to be able to get one. Unless a cat spawns like right now. Bang. Bang. Wait. Can cats not spawn in this area? Like do I have to make some land for them to spawn on? We may need to make this a little bit bigger. <laughs> ah, damn it. Let's get all the villagers in here first. They can spawn around the trading hall area. Here, I'm, I'm just gonna look and see. Okay, no, it looks like they can spawn. Oh god, wait. Uh, I need to do this because... If the iron golem can spawn... Wait, I wonder if a cat has spawned then. If an iron golem spawned, then I wonder if there's a cat. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure iron golems have, like, similar spawning conditions to cats, so... This is fine. There will be a lot of golems around. They need to spawn on a natural block. Now, what is natural? Is wood natural? Are wooden planks natural? I don't know. Put a small box on the floor. Cats love boxes. True. But yeah, I'm- I'm specifically- I made this wall here so the- the iron golem doesn't come and kill Bobbert. Cause that would be tragic. The loss of Bobbert would be... A- it would be a tragedy. Every minute, a cat should be able to spawn. And there definitely are... Look at him go! Yeah, an organic skyblock island. Yeah. We'll start seeing cats soon. Iron Golem will not claim that, no shot. We're probably almost at 20 by now, right? I don't know. Probably wait until nighttime. Just, just so I see how many there are. You can't hear any meows? Oh, that's a good way of doing it, actually, yeah. Listen in for meows. Huh, 
Alright. Let's see. Immortal HP, thank you for the 40 months. Corrupted Light, thanks to the 8. Dragon Storm. Pam is the little Metallica. Free Shine, Denny, Ash, Johnny, Laculio. Thank you for the subs. Thank you. I'm tr okay, let me think of a story. I feel like something that I really want to get better at is telling stories in games that I'm not like super familiar with. I, I want to get better at it. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, I need to, I want to practice. But also I need, I need to be able to actually like think of something to talk about though. Subtitles are off? Yeah, they are. Narrator. Oh! Oh, you've got to be kidding me, bro. What are you doing? Crafting. Screen element 2 out of 2. Options. Accessibility settings. You Narrator. N narrator. Off. Wait, I heard a cat. No shot. It's a black cat. Wait, actually? Our first cat is a black cat? We don't have to wait. The Cause it's I guess last night was a full moon. I guess it still counts. <laughs> okay, we got we just got to feed it. A good thing we have a few raw cod. They can despawn? No, they can't. Cats spawn from villages, don't despawn. This is so bog, dude. Come here. Come here. Come here. We tamed a black cat. Oh my god. <laughs> the first try. All right. Well, let's uh I'm going to bring this away from the village. And we're gonna put it with uh, with pepperoni and Blu-ray. And wait, did the pepperoni and Blu-ray? Wait, since when? No cat massacre. All right, you're gonna sit. Okay, name it. We might later. So that was sick. Did Did I Did I not make you sit? What the heck? Name it Stay. Yeah, I thought another black cat spawned. Exactly. This is this a new cat as well? I think this is a new cat as well. There's another one. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we didn't have this cat. Uh. I'm going to become the crazy cat man. We're, th this is going... Uh, honestly, the black cat I thought was going to take a really, really, really long time. But, like, advancements. Husbandry. Complete catalog. We got one, two, three, four already. And the hardest one, the black cat's already done. 
I mean, every minute we're gonna get an another cat. This is gonna be sick. How many guys are in here? I'm not sure how many guys are in here. Got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. Okay. I believe there's 17. There might be 16. Do you like your new house? So far, it's real good. There's a few things that need to be fixed. Like, I don't have a shower head still, so I'm just taking the water, like, straight from the tube. But, uh... The, the one shower head was, like, awful. So I just took it off, and then I went to get a new one, and it didn't work. So, um... There's that, which kind of sucks, and I still haven't got, like, a, a replacement shower head. You got a shower? No, I have showered. I've showered a lot. I'm so I showered right before stream, in fact. Br They're gonna push this into Bobbert, bro. I'm straight tubing it. Exactly. You ever had... You ever had... Water straight from the tube? That's how my ancestors did it. It's how everyone ought to do it. Uh, water straight from the tube. That's that's all natural. That's the healthy way. They don't call me a YouTuber for nothing. Ah, shit. My nickname in high school was Potato. It took two weeks to become a Calgary native. <laughs> two weeks. I'm already saying Calgary instead of Calgary. Bro. No. Uh, where? Stop it. Can you guys move out of the way? Why- you're not supposed to have a job. Your only job is to create cats. You're fired. Ah, shit. This is gonna be awkward. You get your cowboy hat yet? I've always had a cowboy hat. Where is it? The, there should be another cat by now. Where is it? <gasps> there it is! Wait, do we have this one already? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Come with me. Wait, is it? I think I saw or heard a second cat. Maybe not. We're just gonna bring the cats down here. And I think once we tame them... I'm pretty sure once we tame them, it like... Okay, yeah, we already have two of those cats. Once we tame them, they're not vill the villages anymore. So, yeah, we're just gonna create, like, a little... Just a small army of cats. Oh, wait, I can see how many I'm missing now. One... Wait. Am I just missing one? It's so hard to tell. Okay, we're missing... These two dudes don't want to sleep yet. Two villagers. Okay. So, you are gonna go in. Night-night. Wait, I heard another cat. Where was it? I think I heard another cat. We're gonna turn on uh, subtitles. Subtitles. Where is it? What an incredible village we've made. You ever played Pixelmon? Nah. I don't really have any interest in it. Minecraft mods? I don't know. They've never really interested me all that much. 
Oh, my friend was always, always all about Minecraft mods, and I was like, eh. I prefer van the vanilla experience. It's more pure this way. Now, I know that's like, a, that's, that's a boomer take, but like, you know what? I'm getting older. I, I, I'm even more justified now. I don't care. It's a boomer take. You know what? Bobbert could use a friend. Here. You're gonna go say hello to Bobbert. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Minecraft pure. No, go say hello to Bobbert. Come on, don't be so shy. Bobbert's nice. Where you go? Hey, where are you going? Hey, 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 go talk to Bobbert. Bro, stop. He's nice. Come on. Go be personable. Come on. Just, just hop out of the minecart, okay? Just go talk to him. He, see, he, see, he decided to go hang out with Bobbert for a while. He didn't come back on the minecart. Yeah. Okay, now we just wait for the cats. Can cats spawn at night? I guess they can. Probably can't spawn at night. Can't, can't they? What do we do in the meantime? Uh, what biomes can goats spawn in? There's, oh wait, that's our cat down there. I'm, I'm a little bit scared because we haven't seen any cat spawn. Are we at the cat limit? And because all of my cats are down here, new cats are not spawning? A mountain. Yeah. Do I need to sacrifice some cats? Wait. I have an idea. Where the cat cap? You know what you gotta do. Straight to hell with you. We're not gonna kill him. We'll just store him in hell. There's a mob cat. Come here, guys. This is cat storage now. Hey, come back here. Hey. Where do you think you're going? I tamed you. You are mine forever. You'll bring them back in the overworld? I might. I, the cats are originally from hell, so... There's a reason why ghasts are just cat noises but played backwards. Ghasts are just like nice cats. Which is still... And they're still evil, which is... I refuse to let a cat sleep in my bed, all right? No, I grinded for that bed. I will not let a cat take advantage of my hard work. Cat murder, it was just the child of pepperoni and Blu-ray. All right? We can get him to do it again. It don't matter. Are there any free beds in here, guys?
the first thing you see is cat getting destroyed. The cat got bonked. You know what? These cats are good. Don't worry, guys. It has nine lives. It'll come back. So we just need to, like, wait here, I guess. Right? Uh, I guess what we could do is do a little bit of clay farming. Because, like, what else is there to do, right? The axe is more than nine damage, it might. We could fight this guy for fun. Just. I don't think it's worth it, though. I might accidentally hit one of the villagers, and then they'll all hate me, and then they'll give me bad trades. You know how it is. Ember with the 29 months. Wait, do I need to make a new badge for, like, the length of time? Like, this is the. Uh, oldest badge. Like, the, the, the white badge is, is, I think, I, I think I might need to make new sub badges for the people that have subscribed for a There's a cat! It's stuck in the cage, but there is a cat! Nice, I like this cat color. This is my favorite cat. I just, I just like gray. This is maybe the best cat. But that's a new cat. Are you gonna get the frog light advancements? Yeah, why not? I don't see why we why we shouldn't. Teleport to me? No, okay. Come here. How are you just making cats? I'm not making cats. The village is making cats for me. Every minute there's a chance for a new cat. So I should clean this one up. Let, let, let's let's clean let's uh do some organization. Cause like wh what else is there really to do right now? We might as well. Just wait for cats to spawn and, and just clean up some stuff. You can only get blue cats from breeding, yeah. <clears throat> oh man, I'm actually so happy um, with the, I mean, not, in, I'm looking at the bright side of things here, but um, for Wednesday, we had that Mario Strikers event. It was the morning, I took, I bought a folding table, like a shitty plastic folding table. I'd set it up in this room and I started putting my monitors on it and I'm like, this is gonna suck to stream on. It's gonna be awful. I, I will be streaming like the the. It's gonna be way too high. My chair is too low. I'm gonna be so uncomfortable. And then I go and check my email, and it says your desk has been delivered yesterday. And I'm like, what? Since when? And I go open my front door. And it's just sitting in front of my front door. They didn't knock. They didn't ring the doorbell. They just put it at the front door, said nothing, and left. So there is this massive box, like, comically, just covering the exact door frame. So, like, you try to go outside, and there's just a box blocking you. It was just there the whole time. I just never used the front door, because I used the garage instead to leave. <laughs> so, um... I, I managed to just barely set up the desk in time before Wednesday's stream. It was, uh, but it was interesting. I was, like, rushing to build this thing, man. And I just set up my old monitors on it because I didn't have my new monitors yet. They email update? Yeah, they email updated me, but I didn't get the notification. Alright, we got any more cats? Any more cats? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitties, my precious little kitties. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I speed run the desk. The funny thing is, 
I think it took me less time to assemble this desk. And this desk has like, it has two drawers on it. It's like a big L-shaped desk. It has like two desktops. It has like some metal pieces, some wood pieces, some sliding pieces, some, some dowels with glue, some screws. Like it has like, you know, a hundred parts, right? It took me less time to assemble this desk than to put some stools than to put a single stool together this morning i spent probably two hours putting a single stool together which was just three parts it was ridiculous this stool was impossible i so it's basically like a stool for like a like a, a, a little island where it's just like it's just a stool and then the seat part and then the little part that like twists the instructions weren't jank the pieces just didn't fit together well at all like the little feet for it you had to slide them into the metal pipe but like the feet were too big and so i tried to just like push them in it literally they cut my finger open so i have like a, a cut on my finger because they're like sharp metal pieces what i had to do i had to go grab like pliers from the garage like pre-bend a bunch of the pieces so it would fit into the metal pipe and I still had to just smash it in with a hammer so it would fit and then wait was that a cat no and then like after that was done the the, the twisty bit you had to take the twisty bit where it like you know how stools usually work where the top like can spin there's like a little part where there's like you know, a square spinning piece on top, square spinning piece on the bottom, and they can spin. The thing is, when there's no chair or stool attached to that, it is impossible to spin, and the edges are so goddamn sharp that you can't put any force on it with, without cutting your hand wide open. So... So I ended up having to, like, be super careful and, like, get, like, one wrench on one side, another wrench on the other, and, like, pry it apart with all the force in the world. And then I was able to screw it together. And then I had to do a second one. The second one took, like, ten minutes. But the first one was, like, two hours to figure out how to modify things to freaking put it all together. It was crazy. Stools are nice, though. Alright, let's keep depositing stuff. Do-do. Do-do. But yeah, now we got two stools that I can just freaking whip around on. Why do I have bubble coral? Where did this come from? What the heck? Does that hear it? It's so goddamn sharp. It was, yeah. Spin for us? This this chair doesn't spin. It's, it's the stools upstairs. Wake up, babe. New iron golem just dropped. Where's the cat, though? Where's the cats at? What do we do while we're waiting for cats to spawn? I don't even know. Ever played Hypixel Skyblock? Nah, and I don't have any interest in it. It seems like just a really grindy MMO experience, and I'm over that. I'm so over that. I played RuneScape when I was younger and I'm over it it's it was just fun when it lasted I still watch a little bit of RuneScape content actually I've been watching through Tile Man recently I finished Swampletics sometimes it's as grindy as long as you have a life where are the cats at dude give me a cat Bup, bup, bup. Do you have a list of all Skyblock possible uh, achievements? E yeah, it's every achievement that I have minus two right now. Here, you can you can you can clip it if you need. I'm gonna go through them right away. These are the two we're missing. Whatever floats you go in a complete catalog. All right, we're gonna start here. Alright, that's all the ad advancements, minus whatever floats you go in a complete catalog. Because we just need two. And then we're done. Considering how grindy everything does 
for content. I'm surprised he doesn't do high pixel. Yeah. Also, I, I have an issue where like I have no self control. <laughs> so if I do something that's very grindy, I I may lose myself to the grind. Bleh. Where the cat's at, fellas? Let him out of the bag. I'd like to see some Elden Ring speedruns. Nah, you don't want to see. You don't need that. Doo -doo. Ooh, I need to get more food. Which one of you gives me... Wait. This one. Ah. What if you gives me emeralds for books? Or two of you do. I can never remember which ones, though. You. Okay, and now I'm gonna go do food. Might have reached the cat spawn cab even though they're in the nether. I don't think that's how it works. Pretty sure that's not how it works. Just check this out. There's going to be another cat when I... I'm going to go to bed, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to come back, and there's going to be another cat waiting for me. We could do whatever floats your goat, I guess, but they're not in the spawn chunk. 5 out of 11. So, the cats wouldn't spawn while we're gone. That's the thing. Do you have a black cat? Yeah! The very first cat that spawned was a black cat. Because it happened to be the night before a, um, the night before happened to be a thing. What's it called? Maybe they got spawned and we just can't see it. Okay, where's the cat? I know there's there's got to be one here. You can't hide from me forever. Hmm, how's Minecraft Skyblock kind? Good. What's another story we could tell? Well, we wait for the, the, the dice roll of the cats. So really, that's all we're doing. Waiting for cats to spawn. We'll do the same thing with the goat. Wait for the goat to spawn, and then Skyblock will be complete. Ba-ba, 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 ba-ba. Any tips for new streamers? Do it for fun. Don't do it for money. That's all I can say. Sub 200? We might actually be able to do it sub 200, yeah. If we get good luck with the cats. I can't imagine it takes four hours to get the cats. I'm bored. I'm gonna fight one of these guys. What difficulty are we on? Oh, easy. This should be free. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, die. Yeah, idiot. Aha! Alright. Bang! 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 Alright, cool. Come on, where the cat's at? It says every minute. You know what? I'm gonna read this again. Cat Minecraft. <coughs> Cats can spawn every 1,200 ticks. One minute. A random player is selected, and a random location is chosen 8 to 32 blocks away from the player horizontally in both directions on the same height. A cat can spawn if a block is less than two chunks from a village with few, five or fewer cats. Wait. Oh, so I have to be near. Eight to 32 blocks away from the player. So I, I actually have to be in the village for a cat to spawn. Uh, there's a mob limit? Maybe. And it, it has to spawn horizontally the same height. So we have to stand here. How far away do I need to be from the village? Less than two chunks from a village. Alright, so the optimal place to stand is right here. 
And I should probably make more spawning platforms as well, if that's the case. Because maybe cats are trying to spawn, like, here, but they're not going and doing it. That could be it. Story, story, story. Okay, okay. What is some kind of a story I could tell? I'm trying to think of other stuff that w that's happened. Okay, I'll tell you about my first day here. Because it was a little... A little tragic. So I got here. I I drove um is a 10, 12 hour drive. I think it was around 10 hours. From my old place to my new house. Right? And uh I brought everything that I owned in my Toyota Camry. Which I mean just by that sentence you can tell that I don't own a lot of stuff. I basically brought, like, some- a bunch of my streaming stuff, some, uh, my clothes, my consoles, an inflatable air mattress, and a single blanket. Uh, now... Uh, and I think I brought, uh, some old pots and pans. I don't have any dishware, I didn't have any cutlery, I had nothing. So, I go to bed on an air mattress Saturday night, and uh, wake up feeling awful the next day because it's an air mattress and they all suck. I've never slept on a comfortable air mattress and felt well rested the next day. Um, but, you know what, I wake up and uh, I'm like, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go buy some food. So I get some really basic stuff for breakfast. I went, I got some cereal, some, some shreddies and some milk and some juice and by like pink lemonade the good stuff and uh, I wound up uh, going home and I grabbed my cereal immediately and I grabbed the milk put it on the counter and I opened the cupboards and I, and I don't have any dishware and I don't have any utensils so I'm sitting here with no way to eat Breakfast. I'm like, how the heck do I eat this stupid cereal? And I'm looking through everything that I own, and I'm like, I, there's got to be something here. There's got to be something. Right? And I go and I find that, wait a minute, I brought pots and pans. And there is a saucepan that I could put the cereal and milk in. So I put the cereal in, I put the milk in, I'm like, great. Now what? Well, how do I eat it? The the cereal that I bought was not Cheerios, okay? It was that it was Shreddies. Now the thing about Shreddies is you can't just tip a massive pot over into your mouth cuz they just they don't work like that. How the hell am I going to eat these freaking Shreddies in this pot? And I'm looking around, I don't have any spoons. And so I'm like just walking around my kitchen aimlessly, like what the hell do I do? And my realtor, generous as she is, got me a coffee maker. A very nice coffee machine. And I looked in the coffee machine box and they had a big square scoop for coffee, coffee grounds. And so I take the coffee scoop, and I take the saucepan, and I eat my shreddies on the floor, <laughs> on the on the on the stairs to upstairs. And that was my first morning in my new house, feeling absolutely dead tired, back sore as hell because air mattresses suck. And that's that. Why are cats not spawning? Do I need to kill the- The cats in the nether are not contributing to the mob cap. They're not. You can't convince me they are. I think we've just had bad luck on the cat spawns. It says a cat can spawn. I don't know the odds of it. Maybe cats have spawned and they're just like locked away somewhere.
Mm. Was this started from the original map? Yeah, it was. It absolutely was. Kill one in the nether? You know what? Fine. I'm gonna do one more check, just to see that there's no cats hidden around. No cats in, like, any of the villager slots or anything, because they might have just wandered into the villager slot. Do tamed cats contribute to the mob cap? I'm not sure. I don't think so. There might be a cat, like, in here. No. The mob cat limit, I think, is five. So if there are five cats in the nether, we may need to murder some. Wait, it said meows? Wait, there was a cat? Did one spawn? <gasps> there is! It spawned! Where is it? Where is it? What? I think it's on the beds? It's a new type! New cat just dropped. Yeah! We got a new cat, baby. Alright. Now we know the, the cats aren't adding to the mob cat. Where's our cat? And we can just chuck them into the nether and not have to murder any. Look at this, look at this. Advancements? 6-11. Get in there. Where's our cat? Come here. Sit. Do you want to pet in your new house? Nah. I already got a pet. I brought my only pet with me. Um, to, uh, to Calgary. I, I brought my only pet. And it's, it's really, a, it's a good pet. Is Party Kirby off? I don't think so. Uh, do we have any lights? I might need to trade for some lights to light this area up. Which pet? Here, I'll show you in a sec. Light this up so mobs can't spawn on me. Bang! 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 There, no more mobs. I'm just gonna borrow one of these for a second. Actually, I won't be able to get out if I do that, right? I guess we're waiting for a cat to spawn anyway, so I'll just chill here. Alright. I think... Oh, yeah, here. The little guy's right here. Oh. Oh. <sighs> it's a rock. I, I brought a rock. I brought the rock with me. Is that a new kind? Nope. Come with me. I think we just had a string of bad luck on cat spawns. Why do you have a rock? Um, it's so I can fidget with it and kick it and it won't break. I have a problem where I will fidget with something until it breaks. Like anything. So, I, I can't break the rock. I 
Happy birthday. Thank you. It's not my birthday, but thanks. Nah, <sighs> what was I going to do? I was going to do something. I'm going to wait for a cat to spawn. Wait, I think there's juice. Obsidian Mastermind, thanks for the gift sub. Starkeeper, Bombard, Bato, Akizia, Kami, Donald Bob. Thank you for all the subs. Does it have ice at room temperature? Nah, it's chill. It's very chill. Okay, where's the cat? Where's the cat? Where's the cat? I know there's a cat around here. You can't hide from me forever. Alright. When is the next Mario Hide and Seek coming? Uh, I think we have one scheduled, actually. Let me check. Uh... server is that right I think server uh tuesday june 21st looks like monday we're doing a soul link nuzlocke was cj is dictating half of my week next week cj was like yo you want to do a soul link monday i was like hell yeah and he was like yo you want to do tag on tuesday i'm like hell yeah uh wednesday next week we're doing the pokemon but i get the worst possible luck which is always fun painful but like fun. Painful in a fun way. I guess. Um, then, uh, what else? And Thursday, Friday, we might need to, I might need to de-rust on Breath of the Wild speedruns. That's something that I really want to practice and get better at. Like, I, I want a sub 30, I think. Yeah, Soul Link was a lot of fun. CJ, CJ is just fun. How do you mod your Switch? Oh yeah, also, uh, it's crafty here. I'm not sure if... I think I might be... I think crafty might be releasing Super Mario Odyssey Online multiplayer today, maybe? Like, publicly? So anyone can do it? I think he finally got it, like... S uploadable it'll have issues obviously because we, we don't have like you know having eight people do it with constant oversight is a little different than having you know it publicly released but do you need to buy one of the kits you do need to be able to mod a switch yeah uh, you can't use emulator unfortunately I think the the, the crafty is specifically talked to like the the emulator Switch emulator creators to like implement some of the stuff required, but they haven't done that yet. I think because I I don't think just there's any network functionality on uh, emulators yet for like obvious reasons. Like why would you need internet? It sucks. None of your friends have modded switches. Yeah. Yeah. It's I guess probably most of the people doing it will be for like content purposes. The people that are like able to afford like an entire switch just to mod it, basically. It sucks that that's the case, but like you know, work with what you got. It's fun as heck. I don't know if cats can spawn at night. They must because of the black cat thing. They must. I'm gonna do this just so I can get in here. Dikizo, thanks for the prime. Uh. Is it TOS to mod a Switch? Um, you're not allowed to go online with a modded Switch, and if Nintendo catches you, they can just ban you for. You know, no reason, because they, you know, it's their prerogative. 
Uh, but I think the way that we have it set up, as long as you follow, like, online tutorials properly, um, as long as you follow online tutorials properly, there's no risk, because Nintendo, you, we set it up, basically, so that Switch can never connect to Nintendo servers, it can only connect to your own servers that you get, so, wouldn't be an issue. Can you get a special black cat at Witch's Huts? Uh, we got a special black cat at this village, because it was a full moon. Try making a bigger platform, even bigger? I think this is a good size. You know, I like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like seven's enough, right? I, would, you, you, I think seven is is plenty. Why would you ever need more than that? Thoughts on the wild update? I haven't played it yet, but I've heard it was like very mid because it's. It was, like, not any of the cool stuff. Has anyone heard of Purple Cliff? I have! Me! Me! Um, occasionally. My hair was a little different, but I, I got the, uh, you look like that one actor from Twilight. I got that in high school a little bit. Okay, we need to go 32 blocks in every direction from the village. Alright, so we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I'm just gonna start with this chunk, I think. I'll just fill up this chunk, that's the initial thing. Peaked in high school? I really did. No. I, I don't think I've peaked just yet. I think, I think I'm planning on peaking around like, you know, 30? And then letting, th letting things go downhill from there. That, that's my current plan. Peak at 30 and then, you know, see what happens. You bottomed in high school? That... Good for you, good, good for you figuring that, that out early, I guess. It is Pride Month, I suppose. Probably the name, the idea of being small ant. 
So, <clears throat> my original name uh, was uh, Orange Hornet. Right? And I, just because I, you know, I was really, I wanted an intimidating name, and as a kid, I was like, what's scarier than bugs? Hornets, specifically, right? And so, uh, I ended up, I ended up picking Orange Hornet. Uh, when I was playing, uh, uh, what, what's it called? Habbo Hotel? You know, on, like, miniclip.com? And, um, I wound up keeping that username for a while, but eventually I, I started playing RuneScape, and, uh, Orange Hornet was taken, and I was like, well, frick, like, what am I gonna do? I can't, I gotta be something that's like, what, what am I gonna do? And I was like, okay, well, what's, what's another bug? You know, I'll keep the theme. And I was like, okay, Orange Ant. And, uh, it just didn't, it, it, was, it was also taken for whatever reason. You know, it was early on a RuneScape, so, you know, I didn't realize at the time, but, like, it, it was an uncommon username you'd think it wouldn't be taken in being the early phases of RuneScape still. But then, uh, I was like, okay, orange is taken, what, what, so, okay, I just gotta pick something else then. Uh, a small ant. And then, uh, so yeah, then we went with small ant. Also, uh, none of that happened and I kinda just made it up. I, I just saw an ant on the windowsill when I was like 10. Gotta be a cat around here now, right? Push the iron golem off the edge. You know how hard it is to push iron golems off the edge? They, they're so finicky. I'm gonna stand here for like a minute and a cat will spawn. How does your mic not, ex ex not implode when you whistle? I don't know. What do you play Skyblock on? A PC. Man, this is still so cool that I can just boop. Boop. <laughs> Correct gain staging. I don't know what that means. I, I should probably look into that, huh? Okay, where's the cat? Alright, I'm just gonna gently push the golem to his death. Perfect. Come on, cats. What's your favorite SMO clip? There, there's, there's an obvious choice. The, the best clip in Super Mario Odyssey is the clip into Inverted Pyramid. Because in, in Super Mario Odyssey, you, you try and enter the Inverted Pyramid early when the door is still closed. And Cappy's like, mm. Looks like you can't brute force that idiot. <laughs> Better go try something else. And then you brute force it anyways. Oh yeah, Cappy? Just trying to sabotage me, aren't you? <sighs> Did you guys know I was in gymnastics when I was younger? I don't think I've ever mentioned that on stream. I was in gymnastics. Cringe? No. It was cool. No shot, yeah. I was in gymnastics. I mean, I was only in it for like a year or two. So I never was like super good, but like... 
Like, I was in gymnastics to the po I remember the one of the first days of gymnastics. You know, we were super young. That's a cat. That's a cat we already have. Whatever. Come here. Uh, it was uh, day one of gymnastics. I got uh, I got the nickname Tarzan. Day one of gymnastics. How did I get the nickname Tarzan? Well, I was like a six or seven year old joining gymnastics. We we ended up uh, we would start by doing uh, you know some warm ups, some gymnastics, and occasionally if we were really good that day and everyone kind of behaved. They would take out a bunch of random mats, make like an obstacle course, and you could just like screw around jumping on the mats and stuff, and it was so sick. But, there was this rope hanging from the ceiling. This was in a school gymnasium it took place. A high school gymnasium. And, uh, you know, the high school gymnasiums, they have pretty high ceilings. And they had a rope hanging from the ceiling that you could like hang on and like try to climb up. And I remember all the kids we're trying to climb it up, and being six or seven, nobody has any freaking upper body strength. So people go like, eh, and then fall onto the mats below. But not me. Not me. I don't know why or how, but I figured out an incredible technique. Where instead of pulling with your arms, just push with your feet. Get your feet around monkey style and just push up. And move your hands, and then push up, right? And so I got all the way up to the ceiling, like 25, 30 feet up. And nobody saw this until I was already at the top. And the, like, gymnastics instructor just, like, freaked out. What are you doing? How did you, how did he even get up there? I'm like, hey, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm touching the ceiling. <laughs> I'm like six or seven. I think I was probably seven by this point. Just a, like a seven foot, or like a seven year old climbing like 30 feet up, right? Ridiculous. And, um, eventually they were like, come down. And like a bunch of the, there was like a few older kids. And it was like, just like freaking Tarzan. Cause like, I think the live action Tarzan came out somewhat recently or someone had just watched the live action Tarzan with the, what's his name? And yeah, I just slid down like slowly. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that was fun. But, yeah, I was the least flexible person in gymnastics. Like, if I, I, they were like, okay, time to stretch. And I'm like, all right. All right, I'm going to touch my knees today. I can, today's the day. I'll touch my knees. I made it eventually. Oh, is that a, uh-oh. Music, music disc. Music disc, pause jam. Music disc, music disc, music disc, music disc. Don't get in the boat, coward. Ah! Ow. Yes. Wake up, babe. New disc just dropped. Woo, baby. Let's go. Alright, how do you get blaze rods? Uh, we went to a fortress location and blazes started spawning. Too bad, yeah, we'll never be able to hear it, but it does exist. Cats were at six. Did they? No. No. Did they kill a villager? Oh, fuck. Please tell me they didn't kill a villager. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. Everything's fine. What's the brightness here? I could have swore I saw one fall. Good. 
They did kill one. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Ah. All right. You let this happen. You're supposed to protect them. Uh, but yeah, I, I am so inflexible. That's something that I really want to work on. It's probably going to take like a year of like trying and stretching and stuff. But I feel like I feel of like one day my my the moment I touch my toes is the moment I peak in life. It's been a dream of mine since I was a kid. You guys want to see how flexible I am? Find, go start taking yoga? No, yoga's cringe. I'll just like hit the gym and become flexible like that. Because like exercises, just in using your muscles actually loosens them up. That idiot. Oh, what a buffoon. Like here. Look at this. Hello, my name is Small Ant, and today I will be trying to touch my toes while keeping my legs straight. Got past my knees. Maybe someday. I got kind of, it was kind of close. All right. Oh, it's a cat. Is it a new cat? You know what I could do? You know what would be genius? I make a channel points redeem and have Twitch chat force me to become more flexible. <laughs> Where it's just like, try and touch your toes. Like 20k, touch your toes. Yeah, I'll just force you guys to, to like do do twenty push ups, forty K. You've made a grave mistake. I mean it would work though, right? Don't put your health behind a channel point redeem. No, I'm not putting my my health behind it. Alright? It's just it here's I'm never gonna I need to gamify my entire life or I never get anything done and this is the perfect way to do it. I th there's a reason why I pay inept to be my babysitter, because I have I I cannot handle responsibility. Now chat will be my babysitter, for flexibility. Hey guys, what's up? Got any cats in here? No? But then Inept would be out of a job. Inept doesn't tell me to stretch. Cause like, I cannot do a squat. Like if I ever try to go freaking weightlifting, I'm gonna have to do like maximum sumo pose. How do you tie your shoes? I sit down. Literally, t like, it yeah, like, it's uh, how do, how do I, like, let's see. Proper squat form, you have to keep your back straight, right? Is that right? Is that, let's see. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll lift the pet rock. Let's see. To, to do a proper squat, you need to, like, keep your back straight. And, like, keep your heels on the ground. Right? Back straight, heels on the ground. I'm gonna try to pick up this rock with, to, to do that. I'm, I'm gonna see how wide my legs need to be. Here we go. Okay, so I can't get uh, this is uh, this is as far down as I can get. 
This is a, this is a deep as squat as I can get with my heels still on the ground. Okay, this this is work. This is better. <laughs> it's about it. The, a little bit of a wide stance on that one, but it worked. I I made it to the rock. <laughs> Maybe don't wear jeans. No, these are flexible jeans. I can move around in these so well. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. Looks like you're in pain. I was not in pain. I was having a good time. I can really move around, okay? Hit the gym? I will. I'm gonna get all the badges. If I start going to the gym, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just tweet out. So where the fuck is the badge? This place is awful. I didn't even get a badge. Your mobility. I got okay. You know what's in, when I was in gymnastics. As as a youngin, I could not do a cartwheel for the life of me. Couldn't do it. You know what I could do? I think what they're called a round off. Is that what they're called? I could do those like no other. I was so good at them. Are they round offs? I'm surprised at how thin your legs are. Why? Well, I, I never use them. So like, what do you expect? You know what the weird part is? Because I'm so inflexible and walk on my toes all the time. They're they're the same. My my calves are the same circumference as my thighs. I, I've been to the gym once. My my roommate was like, "Yo, you want to come to the gym with me?" I was like, "Sure." And I went to the gym, and we what did a full exercise. And on the last exercise, he was like, "Do pull ups to failure," and I was like, "Okay." So I did pull-ups, and then I vomited, because I did them until failure. And then I was like, I don't really want to go back. I don't feel like puking at 6 in the morning again. But, we did calf raises, and I literally maxed out the calf raise machine. Like, I, there, you couldn't put any more weight on it. It li literally just maxed out it. Maxed it out. I got some crazy ass calves. When you're starting, going to failure is a bad idea. I mean, it's just chin ups. And I was rock climbing at that point, so like... It shouldn't have been that bad. I think it was just like, the time of day and I had nothing to eat. Six AM, why? That's when he goes. My roommate, my old roommate Chris, he he got like four or five hours of sleep. He had like insomnia, but also didn't need a lot of sleep to begin with. So he only got like four hour, four or five hours of sleep a night. So he'd go to bed at two a.m., wake up at six, ready to go. Calves are the hardest muscle to build. Nah, 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 nah. Easy. You rock climbed? Yep. I had to rock climb for a little bit. My calves and forearms were the only strong parts of my body. Although I had a de decent core strength too, because of the rock climbing. You're motivating me to work out right now? Yeah, I don't want to look like small ant. That wouldn't be good at all. How do you rock climb with no flexibility? People would literally point and laugh at me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, actually, rock climbing, rock climbing people are some of the nicest people in the world. But they would make fun of me. Because the way I had to start some some climbs and do some things was so freaking weird. Dude, people would point and laugh. Come on, where are the cats at? You live in a different place? Who cooks your food? I do. Sometimes Annabella does. We kind of usually cook together. We made some... We made some... Uh, we some Alfredo some night. We got some cooked some chicken and rice and vegetables the other night. Um, I think we had spaghetti. Uh, we've done what else? Oh, wait, I like pasta, by the way. If that's not obvious. 
You know, we, what, what did we do yesterday? Yesterday we were really lazy. I think we just had like fancy instant ramen. <laughs> but yeah, this morning had uh, woke up and Annabelle made like pancakes and eggs and hash browns. The best noodles, hello, they're so hard to find. Yes, they were very nice. The best instant noodles I've actually ever had. How often are adverts? I don't know, I kind of just let them autoplay. Oh man, speaking of adverts, I've been seeing this and it is so tragic. Um, so, Twitch announced that they're increasing the ads incentive program to more people, right? And, um, and where it's like, you can agree, you can basically agree to play ads every 20 minutes on your stream for like one minute and you'll get like an increased ad rate. And some of the people that I see get like eight minutes for the entire month of June if you play an ad every 20 minutes. And I'm like, oh, that, that, that's really bad. That's like, w wow. Like that is comically low. Like, I, I don't think anybody would go for that. <laughs> hmm. How long are you streaming? Uh, until we get some more cats, I think. How many cats do you have right now? Let's double check. Advancements. Six of eleven. How far do villages need to be away to be distinct villages? Because we might be able to make another whole village. Shouldn't you be getting a cat every minute? There's a chance for a cat every minute. I think. But. No new cats in one hour? I don't know. We do have a couple of cats. I should probably deal with these guys. Alright, my nugget sub 200, 200 hours at this rate? Yeah. Very sad. Yeah, you know what? You cats can hang out over here. This is your little home now. Alright. I think one cat might have went through. We'll see. 32 blocks between villages? All right, we could probably do that then. Just make a platform, you know, 32 blocks away. Let's see. I'm just trying to think of the most optimal way to do this. Cause what if we, um, let's see. <clears throat> We're going to need to make a village to, to, to get optimal cat spawns. Will Skyblock Vods be on YouTube? Yes, they will be. Um, to get optimal cat spawns, cats can spawn... Um, eight... Untamed cats in villages. Untamed cats spawn in villages as long as there are at least five claimed beds within 48 blocks. And at most, four cats... Within a 97 by 17 by 97 box centered around the spawn position. Cats that can spawn within creation of a village do not despawn. Um, they spawn with a random appearance. Uh, cats can spawn every one minute. Eight to 32 blocks away from the player horizontally. In both directions on the same height. A cat can spawn if it's less than two chunks from a village. So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to make a platform 32 blocks wide so this is 16 this is 32 perfect and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it um, I'm gonna build another village three chunks away and stand right in between and it should maximize cat spawns so we're just gonna have to build a few more chunks in this direction Do you like cheese? Some pretty good stuff. I'd say, yeah. I do like cheese. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Alright. 
So I think then it it should guarantee that every minute we get a cat spawn. Because it, it'll pick a random location, but it's guaranteed that the random location will work. All right, I want to go sleep here because I need um, I need to not get hit by mobs. Gonna play Overwatch 2 when it comes out. Isn't it just Overwatch? Are you gonna do pet in the house? I have a pet already. It's all good. Alright, here we go. Just gonna outline this to start. Have you thought about playing Terraria? I thought about it, and I am going to play it, yes. Now we're gonna do Calamity. Favorite... Maybe I'll ask CJ if he wants to do that. If he wants to play... Calamity with me sometime. Has a new stream setup going? It's good, I don't have my chair yet. So it's very uncomfortable. I gotta upload videos. I think we're gonna, I'll probably upload a video tonight. I have to make another village over here. I don't think it has to... I don't think the village has to be that big. I think I'm just gonna have... Um, maybe two ten villager villages. I'll pack them in a little bit better. Calamity on 1.4 whenever it releases. I don't know. People keep telling me to play Calamity mod, so I'll play that. Where's my pickaxe? Oh, it's still here. Aha. Why do people ban chat from mentioning viewer account? We removed that rule recently because, honestly, it's not really affecting me that much anymore. But, uh, basically, the streamer doesn't gain anything from knowing the view count. It kind of just makes them get in their head a lot. So, like, if the view count is lower than usual, it'll be like, oh, man, you know, what am I doing wrong? Etc, etc. And if it's higher than usual, they might be nervous. So, the view, the, the streamer kind of just, it kind of gets in the streamer's head a lot of the time. I'm at the point now where it's like, I, I, I've kind of accepted that it's always going to be higher or lower. You know, depending on, you know, how frequently I upload, what I'm doing that specific day. It all, uh, all depends, so. I, I kind of removed that rule that people can talk about view count. <sighs> but yeah. You count to 69 right now? That's the perfect amount. Nice. But yeah, like I, on Minecraft days, it's usually lower. On on Pokemon and Mine and Mario days, it's quite a bit higher. Casual playthrough days, really hit and miss. But I I, I was watching um I can't remember what video it was recently, but I remember Ludwig saying there was like his first stream where he hit like 10k viewers ever. The next day he like couldn't go live. He like laid on the floor for an hour because he knew the number was gonna be lower that day. And I was like, yeah, I, I see that, you know. Once, it, the, the, there's something that's very uh, insidious about streaming. is like, your brain so quickly adjusts to higher numbers, where it's like, it's like, okay, you know, 10 viewers, that's a new normal. If I get less than 10 viewers, you know, I'm going to be really disappointed. You know, then, then you start averaging, you know, 20 viewers for a week, and you get like 15 viewers on a day. Like, dang it, like, what am I doing wrong? Everything's gone. You know, the, the numbers are still going up, but like, you know, I, I had a week where I had like, I think, in, in like, December of last year, where we had like, I think, December of last year, I think I averaged 10k viewers. Every stream, 10k viewers. And so like, January, a new cat, wait a minute. So, when January rolled around, and we went back down to, like, 6k, the first week, I was like, This hurts. This is bad for the mental. 
You know, you, you, you got used to 10k when 6k, 6k, so many people. Like, even the amount of people that are in this stream right now. I, I guess, like, around 3k based on viewer and chat activity. But, um, like, the amount of people in the stream is crazy. There's so many people here. But, like, the relative number, and you adjust so quickly to be like, okay, I'm a 10k streamer now. And just having the number in your head adjust so quickly. Like, your brain is like, okay, yep, this is the new normal. It's, 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 it's rough for the mental, but I think I've done a pretty good job recently of being, like, pretty good about it. It'd be better to turn off the counter for mental health reasons. I'm, I'm pretty much over it now. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it to you guys, but my, my perspective on, on streaming is definitely, especially now that I've moved. It's started to shift a lot. You know what's really great? Basically, for the whole week that I was not streaming, I, like, went out into the real world. I wasn't on Twitter at all. I feel so good. Like, it, you, if you're stuck in one room and all you do is exist on the internet, you don't really notice it until you go outside again. But it really messes your brain up. Oh, another cat spawned. Let's go. Is this a new one? Flesh cat, flesh cat. 7 Eleven. Nice. Did I touch moss? Not yet. But yeah, like, it's crazy how much of a difference it makes. Like, I don't know. In my brain, I was like, man, you know that thing that I was stressed out about? Like, in my head, the, the, the dialogue. It's like, that thing that I was stressed out about? It's really not that big of a deal. Because, like, you have a moss lawn? Unfortunately not. I have, like, a connecting lawn with neighbors, and I don't think they would like that. My neighbors are so nice, by the way. I talk to my neighbors, um, and both, like, on both sides, they're so nice. They're, they're like, like, if, like, I, I can't give you too much details, because I don't want to, I want to dox. But they're just so nice. They're like, if you ever need anything, we're right here. Here's our number. The, the other neighbors were like, yo, we're having a get-together for, um, Canada Day, you know? Just, just go, go to the backyard with everybody in the barbecue. I'm like, okay. Thanks. I don't know if I'll go, but thanks. <laughs> Canada Day? Yeah, July 1st. Go get some tasty food and say hello. I'm gonna be honest though, I, I am a little bit out of place here because like you know, I, I didn't get a house that was like excessive, but I, I'm I'm in a house that a, a the average 26-year-old probably wouldn't be expected to have. So my neighbors are like, you know. Mid 30s, maybe early 40s, two kids, you know, one of the neighbor kids is 19 years old. Like, it's just a little interesting. Did your roommate move with you? No. So it's, I'm, I'm a little out of place, it feels like. But. Everyone's super nice. The average 26-year-old doesn't have a house. I exactly, yeah. Like, I I'm in a very, very fortunate position. Did the kid recognize you? Uh, one of the neighbor kids did recognize me, yes. <laughs> yeah, while I was mowing the lawn, I heard an excuse me. It was like, excuse me, excuse me. H Hello? You small ant? 
Yeah, so that happened. I was like, yep, and he was like, nice. And then rode his bike away. Um, so I, I didn't have a chance to talk to him any more than that. Did you win Twitch Rivals? Oh, absolutely not. Not even close. We almost got last. <laughs> Is he here now? I don't know. Might be in school. Wait, is wait is it summer holidays yet? <laughs> when does summer holidays start? I should probably grind out some YouTube videos so all the summer holiday kids have stuff to watch. School is out? Okay, I gotta start uploading some videos now that school's out. Give some people some entertainment. Do you sleep? Sometimes. Occasionally. Okay, so... Oh no, wait, I need to make it 32 blocks in every direction. Oh, wait a minute, that's gonna suck, bro. So this is, I can go... Okay, if a village... on Tim Cats and Spawns, as long as there are at least five claims bed within 48 blocks. Wait, within a nine, okay. So I need to be within 48 blocks of a village and the cat can spawn in a random location eight to 32 blocks away. Oh shit, I need to instantly bed right now before mobs spawn. Okay, cool. I'm BC, we still have a week in two days. Alright, so some places are out, some places aren't. Yeah, that was annoying. Okay. Let's go murder these spiders. Alright, everybody burn to death. Come on. Get it over with. Okay. So, if I stand right here... Uh, how far into the chunk is it? This is 16 blocks from the village. Uh, it's two, four wide. So if I stand here, that gives me 32 blocks in that direction. We need to go one more chunk over in this direction. I think we could just have one village and make this work. Don't know why, maybe. maybe. I think Don't Know Wall was added, actually. Oh, did you resub? I'm so sorry if I missed that. Yeah, I was focusing. My Calgary school got out yesterday. For the summer? Alright. Yeah, we added Dono Well. What else did we we added one more? I don't even know. I forgot it's a rerun. Didn't they remove reruns from Twitch because no one watched them? Da, da, da. It's an emote you had no idea? Yeah. It's like someone talking to a wall. Which works. It's gonna be fun to take down after. What is Skyblock? Uh, use the Skyblock command and read what the document says in the top right. If you can. Man. I, I haven't said it much, but I've definitely noticed it a lot. This is... Uh, so I'm, I'm running with monitors that have a higher frame right now. And playing in... 100 FPS is so much better than 30 FPS. It is a massive difference. Like, I, it's... It's so... I, I didn't realize how big of a difference it would make, but I feel just better at the game. Wait, your monitors were 30 hertz? Well, one monitor was 30 hertz, and if I didn't put my computer in 30 hertz, the mon my main monitor would flicker. So, now that I'm playing in 144 hertz, it doesn't flicker anymore because all of them are 144 hertz. The end of Skyblock, it might be. If we get all the cats and a goat, we may be done all our goals. 
could be today. We may need, may need to do like one farewell stream where we build like a, a big old house for us, a retirement home. We'll see. Remember when people said the human eye can only see in 30 FPS? Remember when- remember that was going around? I remember the first 60 FPS movie I watched and I was like, okay, well that's BS. So they- that was a lie. I remember watching The Hobbit. It was the first 60 FPS movie I watched. I was like, this just feels different. Why does this feel so different? I was like, that was 60 FPS. I was like, oh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, we need to stand. Wait, I didn't finish it. Dang. BS argument, console v gaming. Wait, that's an argument using. Is it not like a foregone conclusion now? Like, has that not been decided? Like, PC is just better than console in like every way? Like, the only thing that I could, as an argument, be, be argued to be better is like, okay, handhelds. But. It's like not a, a huge thing. Okay, so now we need to build one more chunk out in this direction. You can argue price. You can make a cheap PC that has the same specs as a console. You you can make a PC that has the same specs as a console. It is more versatile. And uh, not in this economy, maybe not. I don't know. Keyboards feel keyboards don't feel good to use. Well, you just use a controller then. Forehead. So this should be the perfect cat spawning platform, where every 60 seconds we will get a new cat. Are you ever going to make a 5 mil channel points be something unique? I'm pretty sure the 5 mil channel points is do another stream, is it not? Which just like, do an like, extra bonus stream or something? It is? Yeah. I think it was the 1 million one that was like, cool. One mil is create an emote. Oh yeah, the two mil one was dye my hair, I think. Maybe it was one mil, I can't remember. This is peak cobblestone? Oh yeah, baby. Of course it is. We may need to move the haste beacon up here to destroy this, because I'm literally just building this for cat spawns, and it's just going to be a huge eyesore and a, like a mob spawning platform. Yeah, we might actually need to torch this whole place. Is this one block? No, there's a few more than that. Has anyone ever used a 5 mil? Yeah, they ended up, we gave them the 5 mil, or someone redeemed 5 mil, but we had to ban them, because then they, they started acting real toxic. Unfortunately. The one person to do it. They ended up getting kind of toxic to chat. How do your hands not cramp? I mean, it's just holding down the right click button. And like, small movements with the mouse. Although I'm significantly worse at going in this direction, it seems. Too much power for one person to start a whole nother stream. There's one person, I can't, what's their name again? There's one person who like, like gambles so perfectly that I think they've re 
redeemed pick who we raid like three times and they always pick themselves so they get like a, a couple ca thousand person raid like once a month it's so they're so smart who is it does anyone remember i think it starts with a y the name might be start with a y they like perfectly gamble and uh mr y what yeah mr y question mark yeah that's the name <laughs> yeah 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 Just gambles perfectly to be able to uh, get a raid like once a month. It's sick. Oh, oh, I'm almost out. Oh man, I'm almost out of cobblestone. What am I gonna do? Wait, oh shit, we gotta turn that off. Don't... Okay. I always forget I gotta turn on the... I gotta turn on the machine. Are you done? Okay. I always forget. The machine turns off. Because it gets unloaded. So I just gotta go here. I gotta go... And one more. Let's try that one more time. There we go. I just had to turn the cobble generator back on. Pew, 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 pew. Bang, bang, bang. We, we need to use this so infrequently that I just never fixed that issue. Anyways. Tanner and the very good, not overcomplicated combo machine. Okay, but it looks so clean, though. It is such a clean-looking machine. This thing is so funky. So cool. And would you look at that? We're gonna get stacks and stacks. I'll probably just wait here for a few seconds. I need to think so. I always forget to keep that open. Hefri, Night Arm, Dark. Thank you for the 26 months, tier 2. Rexman, 33 months. Heimflow. Thank you for the subs. You ever made raid smaller channels? Yeah, occasionally. It's usually like once every week we, we raid somebody that's a, that's a smaller streamer. If Why are creepers exploding? Creepers aren't exploding. It's my cobble farm. It's, uh, TNT. One of the best changes they made into Minecraft was they made it so TNT had a 100% drop rate. Have you ever played Bloom's Tower Defense? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Uh-oh. Wait. It's nighttime. Do I have a bed? I do. I did. I did play some... I, I remember playing some on, like, the browser balloons. And, um, I remember I, I played it on Endless until my computer, literally the browser crashed. There was just like a million giant ships coming through when I had like sun gods or whatever. There's murder and stuff. How can you sleep with those explosions? It just... He slept in between the explosions. That's all. all right, I'm just gonna yoink from... Straight from the source. Straight from the hopper. Alright. I can't leave it on because it, if, if it unloads while we're... While it's on, it can break it. So I'm just gonna turn it off. Wait for the TNT to run through. Run its course. And then we should be able to finish up with the cobblestone. Is the explosions a TNT duper? Yeah, we ended up using a TNT duper, but it's a really complicated TNT duper because um, we didn't have coral yet, so we have to build this like huge structure <laughs> instead of like a super simple TNT duper. Mm -hmm. 14 big ones. 
Alright, that you heard the cat sound, but those are that's just pepperoni and Blu-ray. Don't worry about them. They're chilling. Alright. What am I doing? How are you gonna get a goat? We're gonna go to a mountain and uh, just sit there. What's another story I could tell about the move? Something interesting. Is it impossible to get coral? Yeah, if you use um, bone meal in water in a uh, warm ocean biome, you can get coral to spawn. Coral blocks you can't, but coral fans you can. So we have a bunch of coral fans. Uh, but you can't actually get coral blocks from wandering traders, so... We have coral blocks and... Oh, cat. You can't run from me forever. I'm gonna get haste in just a second, and it's all over for you, cat. Nice. Dude's doing parkour up there. All right. Any house renovations? I think I might need to paint the house, cause so the the house that I bought it was actually being rented out, and when the re people that were renting the house moved, they had like, you know those like lights that like. I'm not sure how to describe them. Just those like cheap light strips that go around the top of your room, like the top of the this like near the ceiling. They had those in like almost every room, and when they took them down, it just peeled the paint off of every single room in the top. So like in every single room, there is a strip of just missing paint. Every single room. Of just LED strips. Uh, and they also like dented a bunch of the walls and they had stuff on the walls and there's like little holes everywhere. So I may need to get like the whole house repainted. Did they at least patch the walls? No. Ba basically what happened is I wasn't able to be here for like the final review. And so my realtor was like, I could just do it for you. And so my realtor did it, but... I don't know how, but apparently she didn't see any of the dents in the walls. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to spend just a couple thousand dollars to repaint my entire house at some point. Yep. What color? The ex I like the existing colors. They're all like neutral. Nothing too crazy, except for the green wall behind me that's gonna happen. That sounds like a landlord problem, not yours. That I I own the house. I just bought it. How much rain did you get? Not a lot. Just pay $75 and paint it yourself. Uh, my time's worth more than that. How do you dent the wall? You, you're moving a couch out and you just smack the wall with the couch. I am the landlord. That's such a dramatic term. The landlord. Lord of the land. Don't do it yourself. Yeah, basically anything that I, like... This is gonna sound so dumb. But I bought, like, a TV for, like, the living room. And it's getting mounted on the wall. And, uh, I'm just, I'm getting them to mount it on the wall. It's, like, four screws and a level. But I'm just getting them to mount it. It's just, it's just, I don't want to have to, like, I don't want to have to lift up a TV and, you know, what if I accidentally, like, do it wrong, you know? I can just blame them if they make a mistake. That is something you do yourself. Not me. You know, here's the thing. You know, I could... What I could do is I could do it myself, spend an hour cursing and being frustrated that, man, this sucks, this is the worst. Or, I could pay somebody to do it, take an hour to upload a YouTube video, and then, uh... Oh, there's another cat. And, uh, the YouTube video will pay for the person putting it up. It's more enjoyable, and... it contributes to an overall goal. This cat can't run forever.
Yeah, and they're a professional, you know, they have a significantly less, uh, significantly lower chance to screw it up. Alright, so if I stand in the center of this giant platform, a cat should spawn on me every minute. How big is the house you gotta paint? Uh, I don't know, like 12,000 square feet? You know, it's nothing too crazy. That's a joke. I just came up with a really big number. It's nowhere near that. <laughs> no, it uh, it's nowhere near that. 12,000 is ridiculous. That's like a freaking huge mansion. That's like a 10 bedroom mansion with like a indoor swimming pool house. Canadians using feet for whatever reason. They still use feet when I was buying the house for square footage. What do they call it? Square meterage in other places? Is that, do you say that? That kind of sounds cring. What's your record for highest viewer count? Uh, I think it's like 24,000. I think we got that when I was uh, finishing the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl Pokedex in like a day. It was like when we were getting the last Pokemon. It was without raids too, which was wild. My highest viewer count, I, I like I didn't get like any huge raids. I may have gotten like a like a couple like hundred viewer raids, maybe like two or three hundred, but yeah, no, it was it was all just people showing up. It was crazy. But yeah, this machine will work great, because every minute we will get a new cat. If I just stand in the center of this beautiful little structure, I think. Does the view count rise after you upload a video? Yeah. Um, basically, if I don't upload a video, a view count sort of decays, I guess. You know, people kind of get bored of the stream, some people go, and new people aren't coming into the stream. Basically, after I upload a video, there's like a, a big boost, and then it decays, essentially. The number decays. So, like, I think it's a little bit lower right now, even for Skyblock. Because, you know, I haven't uploaded a video in like, it's probably been like three or four weeks. And I, I haven't uploaded any, like, banger videos where they're, like, revolutionary and crazy. They're, they're all good videos, but, like, none of those, like, huge viral potential kind of videos. Uh, those are coming, though. We have uh, a, a few of those in the works. But it's kind of always, uh... It slowly rises all the time, like the, the, the overall average, but it's very, it goes up and down quite a lot. How many people do you have helping you with YouTube and stream? Um, it's, get, it's getting to a, a higher point now. I have three regular editor. do I have three regular editors? Do I have three? Yeah, I do. I have three regular editors and one person that's kind of new. That's that uh, edited um, the most recent Pokemon video. Um, so I have I have three editors plus one that's probably gonna become more regular because he did a pretty good job. Um, I got Inept who helps with uh, with just keeping stuff in check, organizing things, making sure I don't forget important stuff basically. Um, I have, I don't know, like 20 mods or something on Twitch. Um, I have, uh, my mom highlights stuff on Twitch. Uh, Silver does the VOD channel 
on YouTube. He does the thumbnails and titles. Uh, we got Ryan, who does the clips channel on YouTube. Um, we have uh, uh, Linkus and I own lowest percent, and we kind of just, whenever we can find a good editor that's able to do videos, we, we have people do that. I think four people, four or five people have worked on lowest percent. It's not like a regular thing, but that is a thing. Um, um, what else? We have, uh, uh, there's more than that. I'm missing, we have Rai who's doing the TikTok. I think TikTok is going to be uploading again soon because there's like some that are actually edited. Rai does the TikTok. What else? Um, then I have like, you know, accountant, uh, lawyer, like business, business stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, crafty as well. Yeah, crafty and at sign as well. Can't forget about them. Uh, they, uh, they do stuff as well. You want to count the mods? It's like 20 of us. Yeah. It's probably like 35 people total ish. Small Ant Company. It's a Smant Corp, actually. Is this a new cat? I think this is a new cat. New cat, let's go! Okay, we gotta we gotta clear out this village of these cats though. Alright. Nice. Smant Corp, yeah. I, I wanna get to the point where like I've been talking about it for a while. I might have accidentally just bred a cat. Ah, damn it. I, I've been talking about it for a while where like I wanna just be able to come up with good ideas and stream them. And everything else is really streamlined, so I don't have to do any, any like, if, if I don't want to edit a video, you know, I don't have to. Just so, like, to avoid burnout. Like, be able to, to outsource as much as I can, just so I can, I can really do what I'm passionate about. And, uh, and focus on just that. So, you guys basically get the best content possible, and I am always enjoying it, and I'm always in, you know, feeling great. Have you actually incorporated? Yeah, Smant Corp. Of course. Yeah, avoid things burnout. I feel like I'm pretty good at, like, navigating burnout these days. Where, like, if I'm ever feeling burnt out, I'm pretty good at, like, maneuvering. You didn't know? No, it, it, it's not a meme. No, I got, like, a full-blown company. That's how you know you've made it. Good. Will you be doing another Minecraft randomizer? Yeah, I, I might. That was actually a lot of fun. Yeah. How is it like talking with your bank? Telling them you make money from streaming and YouTube? I don't know. I, I think um, some people are like, Oh my god, how does that work? And other people are like, Oh yeah, you know, it's, it's getting to the point where pe enough people know about it that people are like considering it like a... Um, a, a, it's a business. Like, my, uh, like, my dad, he, he owns, like, a, like, a, a business unrelated to streaming. Like, a, a real-life business. And basically, he's, uh, when he, we talk about it, he, our conversations are, like, you know, it's not like a hobby. You know, he's, like, it's a, it's a company and a business, you know. You're, you're a professional doing these things that... You know, I don't, I don't really, he's, basically what he says is like, I don't understand it, but you know, it's very clearly like an established business. That, you know, you, you've clearly put a lot of work into it. There are so many golems around, what the heck? Okay, let's go grab some torches. I have been informed that you need to stretch. Wait, I need to stretch inept? Wait, why? Why do I need to stretch? Why don't you stretch inept? I don't want to. You can't make me. Uh, 
Alright, so... We now get rid of all the lanterns on this giant platform we've made. And I'm gonna hope that this works. I think... That if I've done this correctly, every 60 seconds a cat should spawn in this platform. Um, if I do torches on every corner like so, is the center... How dark does the center get? Okay, it gets too dark. Alright, so when we get to zero here, we're going to place another torch. Here. Here. I'm just going to make it so mobs can't spawn on this platform, because that's annoying. And then we can stand in the center. Eight, seven. Oh, wait, there's a new cat type. New cat just dropped. Come back here. Come back. Hey, hey. You can't run forever, cat. Okay, fine. Bro, I got some tasty food. Let's go! Two cats left. Okay, nine out of eleven. All right, don't don't do that. I think, if I've done this correctly, I stand right here. And I go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And a cat should spawn by the time I get back. I swear. There's a cat! There's, is there two cats? Are those the two cats we're missing? No way.
No way. <laughs> we got it! A complete catalog's done! Every cat. We should go make a cat shrine. Let's go make a little platform for all the cats. One more advancement. It's about to be over. We just gotta get a goat. Alright, let's make a little platform for all the cats. A little place for all the cats to sit really quick. Goated, dude. We gotta go float a goat. Sub 200? An hour and a half to get a goat to spawn. I think we could do that. Um, but we gotta make a little, a nice little thing for the, the cats. Alright. What's the easiest way to align mobs? Because I want, like, seven cats sitting along the bottom here. Because I think I'm gonna put, make a little chamber for the cats. Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, shit. That's actually fine. Six. Seven. Okay. Can someone remember that pattern? I have an idea. Uh, we need just some regular crappy looking prismarine. Great cat. Come here. Good. Alright, here we go. I can keep the other cats in your house. We'll keep the other cats in the nether, I think. Um, we're, we're gonna keep Blu-ray and Pepperoni in, in the, the big thing, I think. That'll be a good place for them. Okay, let's get you out of the portal now. You, come here. We're gonna put the black cat right in the center because it's the hardest one to get. You, you're gonna sit. And I'm gonna hope that we can push it into place. If not, we can always destroy the top above. K. 
cats can turn. Okay, so as long as we get their positioning right, we're just get the, get, gonna get them dead center in here. Sorry, Azon. Yo. Yeah. I have an idea for perfectly positioning all the cats. I think a trap door would work. If I grab some trap doors, we could do this. I will destroy the trap doors after, but it would be good to. Oh, but. Right. Didn't think about this. Good enough. I could probably do this. This would work. Yeah, that'll work. We're positioning all the cats. Is that centered? That seems perfect, actually. Right? And we'll need to do... This... But just push the cat in. Perfect. Then the roof on top. Nice. Okay. Let's grab you next. You didn't want to go. We're gonna grab the tuxedo one, put it beside the black cat. Alright. Um Did I miss something, mods? Sorry. Or is that a misclick? Okay, it must have been a misclick. Okay, you're gonna go beside the black cat. I, I guess... Sorry about that. I think it must have been a misclick. There was an insane number of follows. I wasn't sure if it was a bot raid. Ah, could have been. We're about to find out. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is 100% a bot raid. All right, we may need to go into sub only to uh, to ban them if they start typing. But if they don't start typing, whatever. It'll only take a second to fix if it does happen. Now you you can leave it off, Ember, until the, if unless they start typing. People know it's gonna come anyways. Now it will be fine. Yeah, let's see. Nope, I need to push it towards the. Other side. Other side. Oh, dang it. I gotta unsit you. Come here. Come here. Are you just... Is your brain turned off? There we go. Teleport. Teleporting cat. Oh. Alright. Sit. Good. Break the old one? Nah, no need. I can just do this. Meow. Okay. I don't think that'll work. They can put their little chins on the on the stair. That's cute. I like it. Let's float a goat. You. Float a goat. That's about it. Okay, so we have three cat types out of a- wait, are there 11 cat types or seven? Wait a minute, I don't have enough room for all the cats, do I? We're gonna have to jam them in here a little bit harder, now that I think about it. Uh-oh. Yeah, wait a minute. I didn't even think about that. How to stack cats, like a pro. Okay, so that means I'm just gonna push this back a little bit. Okay, 
still slightly in there. Move over. How? What? No. No. I gotta unsit them? Okay. Alright, everybody over here. Yeah, I, I completely forgot. I was I was trying to um Yeah, what the heck? What was I thinking? How do I only make it so the cat can't get on that ledge? Is it possible so I can Why are there no half slabs yet, bro? Cause I don't want the cats to be able to go up there. I think here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to feed them in from the side. So we're going to have to put one cat here. Sit down. We're going to have to feed them in from the side. And we're going to have to get, uh... Yeah, five cats to the left of this. And then we'll put another trap door and five cats to the right, I think. So we're going to do this. And then the cat is stuck in there. We can push it over. Until it's all the way at the edge. Like so. There. And then we can do it with the next cat. And it looks like they take up... You know, what is that? What is this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They take up half of a block. So with seven... Uh, seven, we should be able to fit 14 cats. If I take two blocks away, that will 10 cats. Okay, yeah, we do need this. But we will be able to... We could cut off... Uh, we could actually turn this... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Brainwaves. Do they take up two-thirds? I think they take up half. Because they're eight pixels wide and the blocks are 16 pixels. So what I could do... To make this a little more perfect... Is... Yeah, this will work. Check this out, check this out. Yeah, I'll be able to jam every cat in here perfectly. If I just do this, I will have to jam them in one at a time. That's wrong. It's literally a cat jam, yeah. We'll be able to just slide them all the way in here. <laughs> So let's get the order. I want the black cat in the center. Let, let, let's get a nice order. So black, because we're going to have to slide them in. <laughs> They're 0 0.6 blocks wide. Uh, well, it might be a bit of a cat jam then. Whatever. Okay, I like the, the tuxedo cat beside the black cat because we want to have like a maybe a gradient almost if possible, right? Let's get every cat type out here all lined up and just figure out the order before we do it. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we need the gray cat. We need the orange cat. They spawn a goat. Go to a mountain and place some grass, I think. Okay. Uh, uh, let's actually grab Blu-ray and pepperoni. I can't remember what types they are. If they're 0 0.6 wide, then 7 blocks is 4, 0 0.4 blocks wider than 11 cats. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to put pepperoni and Blu-ray in it. Alright, pepperoni, Blu-ray, come out here. Alright, got pepperoni and Blu-ray. Blu-ray might be the cat to get put on the left. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of it like, let's get like a good gradient going here. This one's going to be in the center, so there's going to be a 5 to the right of it and 5 on the left of it. So here's my idea, right? We get Blu-ray here, and then uh, we get this one right there. And then we could probably... Yeah, it's a good gradient. And then that one kind of... Hmm. I think that one and then that one. And then that's that side. We'll do that. I want a nice cat gradient. Yeah, pepperoni, you can go on the other side, I think. Alright, 
So now we need four. We need the gray one. We need the white one. And then two others. I'm not sure which others. So we'll grab a white cat. We'll grab a Garfield. Um, I don't think you're on the other side, are you? sure we ever do a cooking stream maybe one day perhaps you're going through it's a cooldown for you I'm not sure why are we sending cats to hell no we're bringing them back from hell come on white cat this is Mario Galaxy music not Zelda that's true, it did autoplay into Mario Galaxy music. Huh. Did you hear that? Go through, please. What is the cooldown? I don't know how long the cooldown is. We gotta wait. You cannot get debris in this. Yeah, exactly. Alright. Bruh. Your cooldown's got to have ended, right? Is it at 90 seconds? Do you have to unsit them? Nah, you don't. Let's see. Mob portal cooldown Minecraft. It says 30 seconds, so I guess I was just resetting it every time. Alright, I think we got the four that we were missing. So we'll go double check, because I think this one might be out. What is float a goat? You gotta float a goat. Yep, yeah, those are the four we were missing. Cool. Okay, get leads? Oh, I could. Alright, come here. Where's the gray one? There it is, okay. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, gray one, come here. Gray one? Good. I think it's obvious the gray one needs to go right here. And then we're gonna get the white one. We got the white one over here. Yeah. Come here. A little closer. And just all 11 cats in a line. Now, I'm thinking that one, that one, that one. You've had a lucid dream? I've had two lucid dreams of my life. What happened was, um, with, with a lucid dream, you realize you're dreaming and you can... Do whatever you want, right? That's that's what a lucid dream is for anyone that doesn't know. Um, and so the, I remember there was a period where I was trying to lucid dream. I was like, I want to see what it's like. And uh, there's a few things that you you learn when you're trying to go lucid dream. Uh, one is that uh, when you look in a mirror, you know, sometimes you look a little bit funky in the mirror. Sometimes things don't reflect properly. And uh, another thing is that uh, text is always jumbled and garbled like you ever try writing anything in a dream it's always messed up you always have trouble with it right isn't it so frustrating um so those are the two things the jumbled text and a m and looking in mirrors is weird wait y'all can't control your dreams no that's a that's not a common thing so the one time that i lucid dreamed i was knowing all this stuff i remember i uh I walked into my childhood bathroom and I walked past the mirror and I looked in it and I was like I 
looked normal. That's strange, considering I'm in a dream. And then I woke up, because I got so excited. I was like, damn it! <laughs> All right, how is that for the cat? Um, I think that's good for for a cat order. That that's it's a nice, comfortable transition. Now we just gotta slide them all in one at a time. We gotta do the cat jam. Also, yeah, exactly. So, I have had. A couple nightmares in my life. But every single time, whenever I'm in the nightmare, whenever it happens, if something scary happens, I, in the dream, I just see, I look at the scary thing, and I'm like, no, and I just wake up. Why don't, for anyone that has nightmares, have you tried waking up? It's not, it's not real. Just open your eyes. Like, I'll tell you, there was the one, one dream. I was running through the dark forest, and I look back, and the xenomorph from Alien is chasing me. Those black alien slimy with the teeth and the jaws, right? Right? One was chasing me through the woods. I look back, it's behind me. I'm running full speed. I'm terrified. I'm, I'm so scared. And I'm running, and I look back again, and it's still behind me. And I run for another, like, 20 seconds, and I look behind me, and it's not there anymore. And I'm like... What the heck? And then I look back, and it's right here, right in front of my face. And out loud in the dream, I remember this. I say... No! And then I wake up. Like, I'm done with this dream. I'm out. Nope. I'm done. Actually, I said nope, okay? I actually said nope, not no. Ah, oh, shit. No, don't screw. Come here. Uh... Nightmare, go away. Right? Yeah, I have an idea to fix that so it doesn't happen again. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bang. We just use half slabs for the start. That'll make it easier. Yeah, Nightmare, can you just, like, go away for a bit? Like, maybe later? Oh, it didn't slide in. Frick. There you go. Cat Jam. Blu-ray, it's your time to shine, baby. Come on, little buddy. Jam. What's the weirdest dream you've ever had? It's all subjective. I've had a lot of... Everyone's had a lot of strange dreams. I don't even remember them. I don't remember them unless I actively try to remember them. So, I don't I don't actually know. I'm sure I have one that's I've forgotten that's freaking weird as heck. Do you like to draw? Yeah, why not? Drawing is fun. Everybody likes to draw. I feel like the uh, the only point at which you stop liking to draw is when you start comparing yourself to other people that are drawing things. Like, drawing is fun as a heck. Everybody likes to draw. Like... It's great. You're so bad at drawing, but it's- you're only saying that because you don't- you know that other people are better.
Okay. Black cat time. That's like a lot of things. Comparing yourself to other people can like... It can completely ruin your enjoyment for stuff. That's that's when it's like starts to get like... A little bad. Yeah, like the moment you start and stop doing things because of somebody else... I feel like the, the, a lot of the enjoyment is just isn't there anymore. Uh oh. Did I miscalculate? One, two, three, four, five, six. I did miscalculate. Gotta slide all the cats over for a second. Don't fall. <gasps> Wait, I don't have. This monument is going to be loud? Hey, we're not going to be near it for a super long time. Jam! Go, go, go! Does the rock have a name? No, it doesn't. Would you like to name it? Oh, look at that. It's gonna fit perfectly right in the center. Flawless! Yes! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is good. This is the good stuff. Okay. Great cat. Come on! The Rock is Dwayne, but that's so uncreative. Some Dwayne, Dwayne already has that. How do you lose a dream? You want to try? I don't know. Just Google it. I, I've never, I was never really successful. All right, here we go. All right, jamming the cat in. What if I hold the fish? Do they all look at me? Everybody, I got fishes. Yep, come on, I want all of them. That one's in a bad mood. <sighs> okay, here we go. Almost time for candle number two. Oh yeah, I guess. We could place another candle, one for every 100 hours. When do you play Pokemon? I'll be playing Pokemon Monday and Wednesday next week. That's the current plan. Oh, it's gonna be so clean. Three more cats. Three more. That is it. All 11 cat types. This is kind of a, a little bit of a flex, especially the black cat. Black cats are not easy to come across. We got so lucky that it was the first one and it just happened to be a full moon. Like, that, the, the luck on that was, like, a little wild. Alright, we gotta, we gotta jam them in a little bit. Nice little cat jam there. Meow, meow. All right, pepperoni. Pepperoni and Blu-ray are on the same side, aren't they? That's good. No, wait, Blu-ray's over here. Okay. They will barely fit. We'll see. Say black cats are bad luck, but we got a good luck. First try. No bad luck at all. All right, pepperoni. Now we just gotta fit in Garf. And then, I'm hoping it lets me place the Prismarine Stairs. If it doesn't, we can always use a piston. But yeah. 
We'll have a permanent home for our cats. And this is a pretty good little little monument to our uh, our incredible achievements. A lot of stuff on this monument. Hates Mondays. Good thing it's a Friday. All right, now, moment of truth. Will it let me place this? It will. <laughs> Let's go! Look at that, they're all aligned just nice. Hey, look at me. One more. Look at all of them! All 11 cats! <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's, that's so cute. A perfect fit. Yeah, if we turn the hitboxes on, like, look at that. Look at that. Nice. Perfect. Categorized by color. Every cat in Minecraft. Alright, now what do we do with the extras? What do we do with the leftovers? Sacrifice them to the goat gods. They become proud members of our space program. What? It, it's out of this world. It, it's out of this world and into the next. Brave explorers. Brave explorers they are. Into the next world. I like the gray cat. You can stay. Complete catalog. Done. One completable advancement left. Whatever floats your goat. So we got water. We got a boat. All we need is the goat. And then we've accomplished everything in Skyblock. Everything. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? We're almost done. So, let's check goat. A goat is a neutral mob found in mountainous biomes. Goats can jump especially high. They're a source of goat horns and milk. They spawn in groups of two to three goats on op above opaque blocks on mountain biomes, such as snowy slopes, jagged peaks, and frozen peaks at a light level of seven or higher. They spawn individually and more uncommonly after the world generation. When a goat is spawned naturally or through breeding, it has a 2% chance of being a screaming goat. They look identical to all other goats, but they make screaming sounds and ram more often. <laughs> oh, okay. Spawning. Uh, did we 
goat steel and knockback of 4.5. Okay, we gotta be careful not to have any scary blocks. So apparently screaming goats exist. Uh, I think if we get a goat, we should bring it back home. Uh, because we don't have any goats right now. Um, does anyone remember where the mountain biome coordinates were? Anyone remember that? At all? Go full circle and start rebuilding the island? Oh yeah, we will. We're gonna rebuild the island. But we're gonna rebuild it with insane resources. Like we're gonna we're gonna go all out, like Instead of dirt, we'll use gold. Instead of grass, we'll use emeralds. For the, the tree, the logs on the tree, we'll use copper or something, you know? Like, we're going all out. The tree leaves, we'll use, uh, we'll use this material. Meow, meow. Okay, so we're gonna need some blocks to bridge over to wherever the mountain might be. Obsidian, good. Uh, we have a boat, we have water. We have a flint and steel. Use cats for the tree leaves. Nah. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do really quick uh, it will probably absolutely decimate the stream for a second, so I apologize if uh, the stream frame rate gets killed. But uh, I'm just going to open up the Minecraft launcher. And uh, I'm going to open up another instance of Minecraft, where it's Minecraft, but it's actually normal Minecraft. Uh, latest release... Bang, bang. Wait, are there different biomes in 1.19? Like, will world generation be different in 119? Yeah? Probably. Okay, installation. Uh, release 1.18.1. Bang. Bang. Sorry about the frame rate, chat. Ah, <sighs> deep dark got added with mangrove swamps. Okay. Frame rate. Whoa. Hundred percent of the CPU just to start up Minecraft. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! Look at us! Look at our frame rate! So bad! Awful! Alright, are we back? Next slide, please. Seems like we're back. We're all good. Next slide. Stream unalived. Yeah. All right, look, bomb. What biomes do, do goats spawn in? Uh, spawning in snowy slopes. Okay. Okay, that'll work. Uh, can we remember 480 negative 224? Can we remember these coordinates? Okay. Where's the calculator? 
All right, calc. 480 divided by eight, bang, 60. 60, 28, 60, negative 28. That's where we need to go. Looks like we may already have a bridge there. I need to do this with slabs, I forgot. There we go. Thank you for the help, chat. I think we're good now. Negative 28. All right, good. Sounds familiar? I have no idea. Didn't know you had merch? I do. I do. I gotta update that soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We build the portal here. It's from Paper Mario. Good game. One, two, three, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, Giga Chad, portal with the corner. You're gonna hate this though. Now we need... Huh. Kind of in the middle of... Huh. Okay. Alright, we are in planes. Wait, this is the planes biome. What? Do we need to go up? Snowy slopes, here we go. So now what we're gonna do, um, 64, we can do an eight by eight. Looks like snowy slopes are here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, ten. We're gonna do this. And I think I'm just I'm just trying to make a really big platform for mobs to spawn on basically. Uh, do I have a bed with me? I do. I should probably sleep just in case. Was the villager space program ever restored? It will be. It will be. Not it's not available right now, but it will be restored eventually. They deserve space. Okay, snowy slopes still continue this way. That's really good. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, we do want all these lovely little goats to be able to spawn in a nice... In a nice, comfortable area. I will need to fence this off because apparently they do ram you, which is kind of annoying. I'm not really sure how I'm going to bring them back if they ram me like that, but we'll see. And now my plan was to just fill up the in-betweens with these so the grass can spread. And that I think will work fine. We'll just make a nice little area to fence. They don't ram that often. Often enough where, you know, if we get rammed once we... Do we keep in mind, like, if we get rammed once, we just die, right? So it doesn't matter how often they ram us, because we just die if they do. So what I'm gonna do is just do this. What do they take to breed, by the way? 
What are they? What do they breed with? Will you update the fact with what info? What does the fact need to be updated with? It's crazy how much time. Yeah. I hope the video does well, cause, man. You know, I enjoyed it, but it'd be nice if it. Other people enjoyed it as well. Wheat hay bales. Try a boat to bring them back. Yeah. I can't remember how far you need to be away from them for them to spawn. I think it's 32, right? Let's see. Breeding, milking. 32. Water bucket, water bucket, and a boat. Yep. Sixteen away. Cuphead DLC. Why did they wait like ten years to release a DLC for it? So Sixteen. I'm gonna go this way. Are you high enough on the map for them to spawn? They say as long as it's on a snowy slopes, it'll work. And that is a snowy slopes biome. So I would, I would assume, yeah. Should be able to. Ever consider doing a video series for this? I was just going to do one video, like full send. If it does well, then we'll do another project with a video series. Need to be in Z chord 80 to 100. They don't say that. It says spawning. Uh, groups of two to three goats spawn. Uh, when a goat is spawned naturally through breeding, it has a 2% chance of being a screaming goat. Uh, they spawn more uncommonly after world generation. 5% uh, spawns. Basically, it's just like they have to spawn above opaque blocks on snowy slopes. They don't say anything about elevation. They spawn rarely. Uh, we need a cow as well. If there is a cow, I'm going to bring it through the nether, I think. Um, that's the weirdest thing you've learned from Skyblock. I've learned that you can get a uh, warped fungus on a stick, but you can't get a warped fungus. Weirdest thing. All right, I'm going to check uh, passive mob spawning rules. So I don't miss anything. I'll just type in spawning, maybe. Spawn. Mob spawning. Mob spawning. Hmm. What if they just spawn while we're waiting for... Or while I'm looking up the rules. Yeah, you can get it from a zombie piglin, right? Exactly. Um... Mobs on naturally... Mob cap, Java edition... Pack spawning... Pack spawn size... Goats... And not pack spawn. Breed goats will have to wait for two. Okay. So apparently, we just need to wait now. Huh. Uh. Do I have any torches on me? I want to get like a good view. So I can see if any goats spawn, you know? Yeah, that'll work.
Alright. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Tell me if any goats spawn. They'll be on the top of the screen there. I guess I don't need to do that. I'll be right back. Any goats? Any goats? No goats. What the heck? What do we do? Will we wait for goats to spawn? I don't know how long this is gonna take. We're definitely far enough away though, right? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna double check. Let's double check. Pack spawning, spawn conditions, hostile mobs, passive mobs. Here we go. If it's a goat. Oh wait! If it's a goat, the block directly below the spawning block must be stone, a snow block, snow, packed ice, or gravel. It doesn't say that in the goat spawning section! And lighting needs to be above seven. But yeah, they can only spawn on... Stone, snow blocks, snow, packed ice, or gravel. So they literally couldn't have spawned. Um. At least we got more, um... At least we got more dirt. Or more grass. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back, we're gonna get bring a bunch of gravel back. I'm gonna harvest the grass, because... I mean, it, grass is a hot commodity. And, uh, then we'll wait. The water will freeze. Oh yeah, it totally could've froze there, couldn't it have? Lucky you didn't! <laughs> Do I want your prime sub? If you want to give it to me, you go ahead. If, if, I, if I've earned it. Or whatever. When you first played Minecraft? Uh, it was before you were born. No, I, it was... I was... Maybe it was like 12 years ago? I think it was like 12 years ago. A fair bit of time. <laughs> I need to sneeze, maybe, maybe not. You've earned it, let's go! <coughs> okay, I knew it was still there. 
Needs no blocks. No, they can spawn on gravel. Is everything with your house done? No, no. I'll be doing stuff for weeks. Ordering things, setting stuff up. My cable management stuff is getting here, I think, tomorrow. I'll be getting a bunch of furniture still. Like, we don't have a, a couch for, like, the basement room. It's going to be, like, a nice little... Like, I'm going to set up all my 18 consoles. You guys want a list of all my consoles? They're just laying out on the floor in the other room. So I, they, they're fresh in my mind. I got, uh, let's start with Nintendo. NES, SNES, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch. Uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, Nintendo DS, Nintendo DS Lite. Don't have a DSi. Uh, Nintendo 3DS, the original version. Um, a PlayStation 2, a PlayStation 3, a PlayStation 4, a PlayStation Portable, a PlayStation Vita. Um, no Game Boy Micro? Nah. Yeah, I got a custom Game Boy Advance SP now. Um, what else? No PlayStation 1? PlayStation 2 plays all the PlayStation 1 games. There's Xbox 360? And I think that's everything. When did you first play Super Mario Odyssey? It was like the weekend after it came out. I, I downloaded it, went to work for the weekend, came back and played it the Monday after it came out, just casually. It's really fun. I had a really good time with it. No Xbox One. I actually did. I, I've have I ever told you about the whole gamer thing? Gamer, how I got an Xbox One. The gamer gauntlet. No. I'd never think of you as a gamer. Okay, so before I really got into streaming a lot, uh, I think I was streaming a little bit, but like nobody really like, I was just like doing it for fun still. It wasn't my job yet. You know, I was streaming to like three viewers. Uh, so this was a while back, several years ago. Uh, I ended up going to a random convention uh, in my city. That was, it was like, just like a general gaming convention and like nerd convention, you know? Just one of those conventions where they got like a little of everything. But they had this section for the gamers where uh, on day one, on uh, on the Friday, they had a little, uh, a little thing set up where it was the uh, NES uh, World Championship cart where you play three different games. I'm not sure what three games they were again. Does anyone remember the, the World Championship cartridge of the NES? They had one of those and they had it set up and you could try it out. And I'm not sure which three games were on it. Those are super rare. Yeah, and they had one. It had uh, Mo Super Mario Bros, Rad Racer, and Tetris. Now, I played a little bit of Mario Bros growing up. And I played a little bit of Tetris in high school. Rad Racer, nobody knew anything about. But yeah, we ended up playing that. And they basically, you get as high score as you can. And uh, the top prize, if you got first place, was 200 bucks. And that was it. Everybody got one try. And that was the whole thing. And so, I watched some other people. I realized how to maximize the score in Super Mario Bros. Rad Racer, and nobody knew what the hell they were doing. So, everybody just did their best. And then, um, Tetris is just, like, get as much as you can within the allotted time limit. And so I was like, okay. So I ended up, I, I rushed to Tetris, and I just started slamming down Tetris's left and right. It was great. Fantastic. 
and uh, got my score in for that day, came back the next day, and I won the $200. I, I, I had the highest score of the whole, the whole convention. I won the, um... I won. It was mostly because I was decent at Tetris. What server you play Skyblock on? It's a map. It's a local map. Yo, it's snowing. Let's... Let's stop that, though. No. Okay, well... I guess we gotta let it snow. Let it snow. Um, no PSVR? No. Um, but I ended up winning that one, which was cool, 200 bucks. But, they had a bigger thing the next day. The Gamer Gauntlet. Basically, what they had set up was they had, essentially, a gauntlet of various games from various consoles. Um, where, uh, there were some, like, basic qualifiers where, like, the top... 40 people from the whole event got put into the actual, like, a, uh, a bracket, and then they were put into pools, and you did, like, a round-robin thing with pools, and then you were grouped up into groups of four, and then the top people from those groups went along. And so I signed up to that. I was there. Um, I think the, the... I can't exactly remember what the qualifiers were, but I think we played... One of the t one of the new Sonic games, like a, t a 2D Sonic on like an Xbox, uh, like a, it was like a downloadable Sonic game. It was a more modern Sonic. Uh, we had to play Super Mario Kart on the SNES, and I think there was one other one. Uh, and by some miracle, I was not good at any of the games that we had to play. But by some miracle, I made it past the qualifiers into the the group of 40. And, uh, we did a little, like, round robin. I can't exactly remember what the games were, but I remember the group stages. We were put into groups of four, because I made it to the group stages, where you're put into groups of four, and you have to go against each other. We played, um, we played Halo. Halo 2. We were thrown into a Halo 2 lobby on a random map. A map that I was familiar with, because I think it was a map that was copied from Halo 2 and moved on to Halo 3. No, it wasn't. I was familiar with it because I actually watched Halo 2 on TV. I watched competitive Halo 2 matches. Um, on I can't remember which channel it was. But I remember I knew the map because I had watched competitive matches of Halo 2. And they everyone had rockets. So it was just like a rockets match, kill people and, and do your best. And I think by the end of it, there were some pretty good people at... at at, uh, at Halo, but they just weren't familiar with the map, and so I ended up just sneaking out being first place in that little one. And so I got a certain amount of points for being in first place. So, you know, you get a certain amount of points for being first, second, third, fourth in your group. Um, and, uh, and yo, like, what's up? And then, once, uh, uh, we went through that game, uh, there was another game we played called Power Stone. I cannot remember what console it was for. It was a controller I had never held before. But we played this game called Power Stone. On some random console I had never heard of. And I figured it was on the Dreamcast. Yeah. The Sega Dreamcast. And it's, I've realized it's basically just a 3D Smash game. And in a free-for-all, 4v4, all you need to do is run away from everybody else and they'll just punch each other to death. And so I managed to not hit a single person and we made it into like sudden death where bombs are falling and the, the other one other person that was still alive died and I was still alive. I didn't hit a single person that entire time and I ended up winning that one. And then, uh... Are you sure that goats can spawn? Apparently they can spawn. Yeah, it can take some time though. Um, and then... Uh, after that, we had Bomberman. And Bomberman, I can't remember what console it was for. I think it was for an another old Sega system that I had never played before. Um, but we had to play Bomberman. I remember... It was... It was... Light level needed to be 7? Yeah, daylight level makes it 7. 
I know light level needs to be seven. It's it's what, what's the light level right now in the daylight? Se 14. 15. Yeah, light level's 15 right now. Maybe the Sega Genesis, I don't know. The thing is, there was a person in our group who was a Bomberman speedrunner. And he decimated everyone else in our group. But the thing is, he got he got every single kill and the other three of us were left with zero. Which means we all tied for second place and we got the points equivalent of second place. So in my group, I got first, first, and then second. <clears throat> and I can't exactly remember how it happened or how they balanced it out. But over the course of the entire event, they like averaged everyone's points together. And I had the, uh, I had the highest amount of points. But they wanted a competitive final. So they picked the person that also had the next set of points. Um, and they were like, alright, you two are going to go head-to-head -head in three final games. The first game, a Pokemon game. I'm like, yes! Pokemon Snap. No! I had n It's the only Pokemon game I had never played. I still haven't played it. Well, I have for like a brief moment. Um, so I was going up up against this one, this one kid, and he wasn't a kid. He was like 24 years old. I'm gonna be honest. It didn't look like he had showered in like a week or two. His hair was wet with grease. I was like, oh shit, he's gonna be so good. We play Pokemon Snap. I do my round. I get very, very okay. And they let me watch his side because, you know, he, he, they never, they made it so he couldn't watch me, but I could watch him because I had already went. So I watched him and this dude knew exactly what he was doing. Like he ended up throwing like Pokeballs or apples in different random places. And then a Dragonite showed up or something and he took this perfect picture of it. Like this dude must have played a hundred hours of Pokemon Snap or something. Cause he knew exactly what he was doing. A flawless photo. And everyone's like, oh my god. Hot, like, insane. Um, but then the next game was Puyo Puyo Tetris. Now, I'd never played Puyo Puyo before, but Tetris, oh boy, I could do that. And they face us head to head, so if I lost, if I lost this, Then he would win. He would win the whole event. And the prize was an Xbox One, a bunch of games, some controllers. But I go in and we start competitive Puyo Puyo Tetris where he starts Puyo Puyo side, I start Tetris side. We both, we talked about it and he was like, I'm pretty good at Tetris. And we talked about it and he was like, but I've never played Puyo before. And I was like, oh, okay. Interesting. I've never played Puyo Puyo either. And so we start... Oh, shit. That's annoying. So we start playing. And, uh... I'm pretty sure... I make it through one Tetris round. Really easy, actually. I make it through one Tetris round. I fill his side with a bunch of junk. He's screwing around with Puyo. It's very mid. We switch sides, so I'm on Puyo, he's doing Tetris. He sends like a few lines, nothing crazy. And then we switch again. And I just get all the right pieces. I'm slamming them down so fast, I kill him in like 20 seconds on the, on the second Tetris phase. And so we're going to the finals. I'm gonna leave that creeper there, screw it, whatever. It doesn't contribute to the mob cap. Oh, he despawned anyways, whatever. So we're going to the finals. The finals is a game I have never played on a console I've never used. Ryan, next to 20 months. The game is called Ikaruga. Never had heard of it before. Never seen any gameplay of it. But I'm going to show you some gameplay of Ikaruga.
It's a it's a Japanese bullet hell game where if you get hit once you die. I didn't know the controls. I asked, what are the controls? And they said, good luck. And so... They sent us off, they send me, set me up, they bring the other guy out of the room. They don't tell me the controls. They set us normal difficulty, and I think we had three lives for, for, for whatever. They said, good luck. They never told me the controls. I'm like, what are the, how do you even move or play or do anything? And, um, I, I die instantly. Lose one of my lives. I get hit by a bullet, because it's literally impossible to dodge. Because apparently with Ikaruga, you can swap the color of your ship and become immune to that color of bullet. You can swap from like white to red. And so I've had, I ended up just mashing buttons until that happened and I figured it out. I was like, okay, wait, this is how this works. Because I got, accidentally got hit by another bullet and didn't die and I realized that while I was playing. I didn't tell you the controls. It's a, it's a gamer gauntlet. You're supposed to be a gamer and figure it out. But we end up... I, I end up going, I'm shooting all the ships, I get through, I die another time, but I, I have one life left. And by some miracle, I beat the first level on normal difficulty with that one life. And I beat it, I make it all the way through, it's great. I'm like, I'm just happy I survived. My points probably sucked, I died a bunch, but whatever. And then the other guy comes in. The other guy comes in, he sits down, they're saying, we're playing Ikaruga. He's like, oh, okay. And he's very confident with his greasy ass hair. And he sits down. And he starts playing the game. He instantly starts switching colors. Apparently, there's like a strong attack, like a special attack and a weak attack. I was you can, using the weak ass, like attack the whole time. He's shooting missiles left and right. I had no idea you could do that. But he gets hit. And he dies. I'm like, okay. He's not unstoppable. And he goes again. 30 seconds later, he gets hit again. And he dies and he has one life left. He's like maybe a third through the level. And again, he keeps playing. He gets hit. About halfway through the level. Gets his point total. Stands up. Looks back. <laughs> Did I win? And then everyone else is like, No. No, you didn't. It's, no, it wasn't even close. The other dude beat the level. And he kind of just, like, crumpled and, like, slithered off. Hopefully to take a shower. And I ended up winning the, the gamer gauntlet of uh, an Xbox One. But I remember seeing his face when he turned. Just, did I win? No. No, you didn't. Why are goats not spawning, bro? This is ridiculous. What was the event called? There's no video of it. It wasn't streamed. It was just uh, like a, a random gamer gauntlet at a fan con or something. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't mean to destroy the stuff. I don't know if they can spawn on snow. Do you still have it? Oh no! So I didn't have I didn't have any interest in playing the game, so I just sold the Xbox One. I think I I think that weekend I made eight hundred dollars because I won every gaming event that they had. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, they paid for the. T I also met Charles Martinet that weekend too. It was a good weekend.
Does the spawning area size not matter? Not really. Hopefully they... Yeah. They, can, they can't even spawn on grass, which is so silly. It's a me. People put grass on top? Oh yeah, I... I checked and they can't spawn on grass. Yeah. Spawning. If it is a goat, then the block directly below the spawning block... Wait. Wait. The block directly below the spawning block must be stones, snow, packed ice, or gravel. Wait, does that mean... Does that mean they can only spawn on gravel, or... Does that... That's so ambiguous, bro. Do they only spawn on grass? But the grass has to be on gravel? Like, it, the spawn block... No, wait, the spawn block is air, right? You know what? I'm just gonna do two layers, just in case. I, I assume the spawn block is air, and one layer of gravel is enough, but this is just in case. Never mind, I don't have enough. No, 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 no. I think the spawn block is air. It's just, it takes a really long time for passive mobs to spawn. Like, they, they spawn every, like, couple minutes or some garbage like that. Let's go grab some more gravel. We'll go, we'll go take this dirt home anyways, too. You can do grass. It says... I don't know. I, the thing is, it would take double the time to spawn if we're wrong. They're just so ambiguous. We got an extra sack of dirt from doing that, though, which is cool. Or, or sorry, grass. Is it called biome dependent? Yep. It is. Can you show your world? Uh, here's a lot of it. Whoa! Wait, Optifine combines glass? That's cool. It's kinda funky. Yo, Council of Randy, we haven't used you in a bit, but I appreciate you guys. Can we do sub 200? We could! You know, 12 minutes, all we need to do is a goat spawn. That's all we need. Cool gravel farm. Oh, it's a lot more than this set. Sub 200 would be a PB. I mean, any time would be a PB. Testing creative with tick speed? You can't just change tick speed in creative. How do you fix the nether biomes? Uh, I just regenerated the nether. I like nuked it and regenerated it. Alright. Why does the boat go faster on buttons? It doesn't go faster on buttons. It goes faster on ice. The buttons are so stuff doesn't spawn. Alright. This better be. Please, goats, just spawn for me. Do you have water on you? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Is the white on the cobble cloud? No, that's no. It, it was, uh, weather happened. Come on. Ten minutes for sub 200. Come on! Spawn a goat! Spawn a goat! 
What? I have a vote my goat. Please, please. But yeah, goats can spawn on... Stone, snow blocks, snow, packed ice, or gravel. Apparently. And goats spawning... Snowy slopes, jagged peaks, frozen peaks, at the surface, at a light level of 7 or higher. So it is daytime. The light level is 15, which is plenty. And yeah, goats spawn individually and more uncommonly after world generation. So they're just really uncommon spawns. We just gotta wait for them to spawn. We can do that after stream if you want, Crafty. You don't even need water for the achievement. You just need a boat. All right. Come on, goat. This is not on 119. This is 118. Come on, goat. We literally seven minutes of luck. We can get sub 200 if a goat just spawns. Here, I'm gonna check to see if I'm missing anything with spawning. Come on, spawn conditions. There must be no players within a 24 block radius of the spawn block. Naturally, 50 chunks. Friendly mobs have only one spawning cycle every 20 seconds. But because of this, where conditions permit. Okay, every 20 seconds it tries to spawn a mob somewhere around me. But obviously it's just not able to because it's not picking the right gravel block. Goats don't spawn like that in 118? Wait, really? 1.18 goat spawning. Problem with goat spawns after 118. I need a goat to complete whatever floats goat. I haven't got a single one. I live right next to a mountain biome. I haven't seen them since the update. spawn properly in jagged and frozen peaks biome caused by missing biome tag on biomes JSON. Okay, they don't spawn on frozen peaks or jagged peaks, but we have snowy slopes. We're in snowy slopes, so it should work. Apparently they should be able to spawn here, because this is Snowy Slopes, which is a biome they could spawn on. It's not related to the uh, the 118 beta bug. Yeah. KT Mime, uh, Shoyun. Thanks for the subs, by the way. One should be able to spawn. Only four minutes. They can just take so much time. Remember with Turtles how long it took? I think I AFK'd for like... Well, we built the slime farm. 
I think, one turtle spawned or something. We're on 118 right now. Because I haven't updated yet. Because uh, we'll need to update the little mod that removes the blocks. Because there is a mod that removes blocks, just so I don't have to manually delete the world. Have you tried smooth stone? Gravel works, apparently. Did you guys see, actually? So, Crafty is talking about the public release of, of uh, Super Mario Odyssey Online Multiplayer. Did you see that Nintendo is doing updates on online, the online for Super Mario Odyssey? I saw that was, there was like a little Nintendo updates. Super Mario Odyssey Online is going to be taken down. Like the official, like, stuff. They're going to be taken down for maintenance, or something. Yeah, they're doing maintenance to the Balloon World servers, of all things. Because so many people are playing that. They just did a random update for online services of the game, yeah. Luigi's Balloon World. Where are the goats? Come on! I have two minutes before 200 hours! It would be really nice to have this whole thing done in under 200 hours. You know, only 200 hours in a single Minecraft world. What day are we on? We are on day... 1,471. There's a goat in the bottom left. I don't think so. You know, I can just check. There are zero entities on my screen. Right here, this is zero out of one. I am the one entity. There are zero on my screen. In the bottom left of the stream. So I just got to get in the boat. That flew over my head. Okay, it might have. Maybe a little bit. Man, you know what's just so nice? You know what's so nice that I can do now? I can walk around a room. Did you, did you guys know my current streaming room is now bigger than my entire bedroom? My entire room that I existed in for the last four years that I never left? The room that I stream in is bigger than that now. I sleep in a different room. It's so, like, my bed would have been like right here and my desk is like, it's tiny. New desk. Oh, it's good. I love the chair. Is it a permanent addition to the stream? I hope not. I just gotta get my other chair sent to me. Because this is not comfortable. Not, not to stream in at least. Da -da -da -da. Come on, 30 seconds. Give me the goat, give me the goat, give me the goat. Please, please, give me the goat before 200 hours. Please. We're not gonna get the goat before 200 hours. It's not gonna give it to me. It's gonna give it to me right after 200 hours because it's awful. It's gonna be like 200 hours and like one minute and a goat is gonna spawn. I'm just calling it now. 200 hours! We're still not done. <clears throat> well, where's the goat now? Where is it? Show me the goat. 200 hours. Sub three. Maybe we can get it in under 300 hours. Maybe we can go get a goat in under 300. Please, please, please. I wonder how long we'll have to AFK here if, if we need to. Because I don't want to just sit here. If I AFK, I'll have to add lights down there. Hmm.
What's the difference between gaming chairs and office chairs? Office chairs are generally better to sit in for long periods of time. Gaming chairs are just branded to dumb gamers. How fitting would it be if I just had to AFK to finish Skyblock? That's like all Skyblock. What is their spawn at? Any any level. Gaming chairs are like actually kind of bad for like posture and stuff. Get a Herman Miller. Yeah, I have a I have a Herman Miller embody. The log I have the, the combination, the Logitech, uh the the Logitech embody Herman Miller chair. It's too small for me. It like pushes in the it pushes in the bottom of my back, so I like shrimp mode it. But it's a good chair. Play snow and increases spawn rate? I doubt it. Alright, we're two minutes in, goats. You you've you've completely killed the hype, goats. You've completely killed the hype, alright? Just show up so we can finish Skyblock. Please. Wake me up when the goat appears. I'm gonna lay on the floor for a bit. This is kind of nice, actually. This is more comfortable than in a chair. Hello. This is... I, I couldn't have done this before. This is something that I couldn't have done. How do we wake him? I don't... Just... just t I can see chat. Don't worry. I'm just... I got my head right here. Floor time. I gotta get, like, a pillow. Is your floor carpeted? Yeah, it's so nice. It's so good. Floor gang. Just scream? Yeah, maybe. You had your chair for like 10 years. Since you were a child, it sucks. Yeah, you should get a new one. Goat? Wait, where? No, there's no goat there. You may be like... <laughs> Love floors. This is so nice. I can just I can just lounge about while we wait for a goat. What's another story I could tell? Maybe. Hmm. Spacious, yeah. Gonna get a house tour? No, I'll give you a setup tour once it's all clean. I've been trying to do cable management, but I need cable management stuff, so I ordered some. Because a lot of cables are just hanging about. Bup, 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 bup. Bup, bup. Bup. Semi AFK. I'm technically I am away from keyboard, but still on. You know, I can still see this. Do I have any siblings? Nope. How big is your mic stand? <laughs> Bigger than yours. <laughs> it's not that long. It's just like, I just have it in a good spot where I can kind of move about. It's, it's like, my mic stand is like left and behind me a little bit. I'm distanced from the keyboard. DFK. You ever try Herman Miller and Body? Yeah, that's that's literally the chair that I have at my other place. I just gotta get it picked up or get it shipped to me. Because you can't disassemble it because it's just one piece. Have you ever been rejected six times by the same person? Because I have. Well, no, I've never been rejected six times by the same person. I've I've been Rejected once, and then I was like, man, that sucks. I should probably leave him alone. You should sit on Snorlax. Snorlax is upstairs. I need to walk up like seven floors to get up there. It's truly the embodiment of ADHD, and I've never felt more welcome to a stream. What? Instead of sitting on a chair, I'm just waiting for a goat to spawn on the floor. You said dirt is a commodity. Why don't you get infinite dirt? I don't know. It's I, I have infinite dirt whenever I want. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like, it, how long have we been sitting here waiting for a goat? Streaming until I get a goat. New subathon moment. Just the bubble elevator in your house. Oh, true. 
But I'll, I'll be all wet. I don't dry off like Steve instantly. Goatathon. Goated. It's been like 20 minutes? Okay, but... Maybe I need stone, not cobblestone. It's gravel! Maybe we should try. Use spongas? We can't get spongas. I wish we could get spung. Is the light level high enough? Yeah, it's 15. It's the middle of the day. Can we have an animal encounter story? You know what? Yes, you can. So... I lived pretty far out of town. I lived in the middle of nowhere. Like, I, I, my town that I grew up in, in the middle of nowhere. But I lived outside of town, in the middle of nowhere. And there, to get to school, there was one bus. That was it. A single bus. And, uh... I remember one day, it was like minus 20 degrees Celsius, and I was standing at the bus pickup, waiting for the bus to come pick me up to take me to school. And it was late. And it takes like a couple of minutes to walk to the bus stop. So like, if I start walking back home, like I will, and I, I'll see the bus go by and I just won't be able to get it. So you basically just have to wait there. But the bus was a few minutes late. And I was like, okay, it's a few minutes late today. And I ended up just sitting, just, uh, just waiting, just standing around. And it was cold. Like I didn't have, I didn't have, a, no, I had like a winter jacket on. But I had, like, jeans in minus 20 degrees Celsius. Minus 20 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> right? It was minus 20 degrees Celsius. And so I was cold. You know, I usually wait, like, 60 seconds and then the bus shows up. But I'm, like, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. I'm starting to get to the point where, like, my legs are starting to, like... I can feel that they're cold, and, uh, bro, dang, that's cold. Yeah, I don't know, um, that is negative four degrees Fahrenheit. There you go. Um, I'm starting to feel cold. Like, my toes are starting to go a little numb, you know, the, my legs, like, my, my jeans have, like, frozen into, like, just a pillar. And I, as long as I don't touch the edges of my jeans, there's a little bit of pocket of air that's, like, warm still. So if I just stand completely still. But then, this dog, the fluffiest dog I've ever seen, huge, it's as big as me, just comes out of nowhere. And it just, like, snuggles up beside me. And I'm like, what the heck? This thing's so fuzzy. It is just the nicest dog, you know. It's all just happy. It's just kind of, like, standing beside me. So I'm, like, petting it, you know. I take... I have my hands in my sleeves like this, and so I'm just giving it little pets and stuff. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, and I don't want to miss the bus. What I end up doing is I go, I sit on the ground, like crisscross applesauce style, right? And it, it just sits across my lap, lays down, and completely covers my lower half. And I just take my hands, and I put it into the fur, and just cover my hands in the, in the dog in the dog fur, and so we're just like one unit, just sitting there in in the in the in the snow, and it is snowing as well, by the way. So like my hair is covered in snow. I think I had my hood on, so my hood, hood was covered in snow. But I was just holding holding it. I have no idea whose dog this was, but it was just laying across my lap. I just have my hands all up in its fur. We're all staying warm and stuff. I'm kind of just you know petting it as best I can. Just a good little boy. And, uh, and yeah, we end up sitting there for like an hour and the bus just doesn't come. And, I'm, and at, by this point, there's maybe like an inch or two of snow just built up on us. Like there's, there's like, there's like this much snow that has like fallen onto us in like an hour. It was insane. We we're just freezing cold, just sitting there. And I'm like, you know, maybe the bus isn't coming today. <laughs> and so... And so I, I end up like, okay, okay, I, I, I get up, I, uh, I start, to, uh, I get up, and then the dog, it just kind of, like, runs off. I think it followed me to my driveway, and it runs off, goes back home, wherever home was. 
Uh, I go back into my house. Uh, I take my jacket off. I look out the window. And the bus drives by. <laughs> I stayed home from school that day. So that was a random animal encounter. Yeah, it was it was like an hour and five minutes late. Whatever. <clears throat> you met a cryptid that day? What's a cryptid? What is a cryptid? Google it. I don't have my my phone's on my desk. I don't feel like getting it. The chupacabra is a cryptid. Oh, so like a like a mythical creature. Yo, some redeemed chunky runky visit. I don't know where he is. I lost him. Um He's still packed away somewhere. I don't know. Is there a passive mob cap? The current mob cap is or the current mob amount is one. We're at one mob right now. It's me. That's the only thing that's loaded. There's nothing else. Can you get Elder Guardians or regular Guardians? Just regular ones. He's in like a bin somewhere. Not like a trash bin. A creature that isn't conform confirmed to exist by science. Ah. So like ants. Oh, I gotta get up and sleep. Ugh. He was on the counter by the coffee pot? Oh, my mom knows where he was. Okay. Ooh. Just found a goat in your world? Okay. Where are the goats? Yeah, there's zero mobs. There's zero even entities. Where did I move to? Calgary. Are the walls messing with it? Nah. It's just it's just really rare. It just takes time. It's just it's like the similar thing with the uh with the turtles. Actually, you know what? Wait, I can check I can check spawn and I can just go wait a minute, I have an idea. I have an idea. Location, special, player spawning. Wait, 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 wait. We can check to see what this means by using previous things. Okay. If it is a turtle, then the block directly below the spawning block must be sand. So it doesn't need to be too thick because we had a one layer thick of sand for the beach for turtles to spawn on. So if it's a goat, the block directly below the spawning block must be stone, snow block, snow, packed ice, or gravel. So... A goat should be able to spawn on a one layer thick, uh, gravel thing. Um, wait, we have, if we can do that, then what we could probably do, uh, we could make the platform a little bit bigger. So there's a higher chance of goats to spawn. Sound good? Can we make the platform one bigger? Or a little bit bigger? I think that would be a good idea. Because this is, yeah, snowy slopes. They should be able to spawn here. Because, yeah, what's happening is mobs are trying to spawn, but they're picking random locations around me, and they're just not picking this area. So by making it bigger, it'll give it a higher chance of mobs being able to spawn. So we just need to um, make the area bigger.
As long as it's snowy slopes, gravel. It's weird because, like, goats are the only thing that could spawn. So you think they'd spawn fast, but really, that isn't been the case. It's kind of crazy. What, what's the prediction? Will they appear by 2045? Or 245, sorry. They very well might. They might not. We only need to make this too high. I don't think goats can jump two... Wait, can ju goats jump two blocks? How high can goats jump? Do I need to make it three blocks high? I didn't even think about this. Add sign, check the spawn conditions. They're in mod chat. Oh. Add sign, just check the spawn conditions. Goats can spawn on stone, snow, powder, snow, snow block, packed ice, and gravel. And mob spawn type. The direct block beneath it. Okay, so yeah, this is the exact correct spawn conditions for a goat. We just gotta wait until one appears. That's really all we can do. Place snow, it increases spawn rate. No, it doesn't. At sign literally just looked at the code. This music is triumphant. It means a goat's about to spawn, doesn't it? I better. Can you get lucky? Use all my coins. All right. Just wanted some extra blocks. All right. Goats, I gave you a massive spawning area. So we're gonna run away and they're gonna insta spawn. Bang bang. Oh, wait, there's snow. The spawn chunks are loaded. The mob cap is filled. No, there's no mobs in. If there were mobs loaded in. There would be something listed in the entity counter. They would be in the entity counter, right? Like we're looking at the mob cap here, right? What what is the number of uh, that's used for mob cap here? What what what's the value? Is it E? Is it? Um, we can just check. Like there's uh there's gonna be a number like somewhere around here. That shows us exactly how many mobs are loaded in right now. Because I know this is total entity counter, and that's a piece of cobblestone. But there's specific mob types. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but that's the other entity right there, is that block. Did my... Connecting to chat... I just disconnected from Twitch chat. Can you guys still see me? Weird. Just disconnected for no reason. I'm back though, we're good. I just refreshed. Mob cap's a hidden value. No mobs will show up in F3 since it's not drawing them, even if it's filling the cap. Okay. I think there's there might be like 11 cats. There's 11 cats in the spawn chunk, I would say, or in spawn chunks. Maybe, could that be... How many mobs can spawn... In the spawn... How many mobs can be loaded? What's the, what's the limit for new spawns? Is it 24? Or what is it?
This number is more than 11. I don't know. You need to empty the mob cap in this one. You don't need to empty the mob cap. You just need to have less. Passes mobs. Bedrock edition. Here we go. Population control caps. Animal surface. Four. Oh, that's better off. Okay, what's Java though? Come on. Oh wait, here we go. Creatures. Ten. Wait. The mob tap for creatures is 10, and there's 11 cats in the... There's... There's 11 cats in the spawn chunks. It... Literally, goats couldn't have spawned, because the mob cap is full, probably. Unless... Unless tamed creatures are a different mob cap. Do cats count differently than other mobs? We're about to find out. You have an animal farm too. The animal farm is not in the spawn chunks. We specifically couldn't have the mob farm in the in the spawn chunks because mobs don't spawn in spawn chunks. Like passive mobs can't spawn in spawn chunks because it's always loaded, so you'd always be overloaded with mobs. So yeah, these cats. Um, remember that order. We're going to need it. We're just going to bring them into the nether. You were, I was not gonna kill all of these cats we worked so hard to get. I'm not killing them. I'm saving them. So yeah, it was probably the cats, because like literally this is spawn. It's in the spawn chunks. Yeah, we're not killing the cats. We're just sending them to hell. Yeah, if I had done the cat seconds, we would have got sub 200. Dang. Alright. All the cats safe and sound, we'll leave you. You're not contributing to the mob cap. Pepperoni and Blu-ray, it's okay, they're fine, they're fine, they're right here. You sit, you sit. They're chill. Sub 201, baby. Imagine we get here and there's just a goat instantly spawns in. Don't worry, the cats are more at home in hell anyways. So I'll be honest. Goats can jump 10 up? What the hell? Really? 
Alright, so now all we gotta do is just... Bang, bang. The 10 count makes sense because uh, more mo- Huh. That was weird. Alright, now goats will spawn. I think. I'm gonna check to see if that was necessary. There's a mob generation? No, that was didn't count. That was a hostile mob. Let's see. Word, what kind of mob cap do they? Because are they in a different named cats teleport away from the player? They gift things if you sleep next to them. They can be used to repel creepers and phantoms. Separate process of natural spawning of passive mobs and not affected by the creature. Ca okay, so it is the creature cat, but they are creatures. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that that was one hundred percent blocking off uh, all spawns. So there was an endermite there because I used a pearl to get down, and endermites spawn sometimes where you pearl from. Uh, yeah. Yeah, goats should be able to spawn now, and it's not that too long. New house, Alberta, right? Yes, it is. Do you ever get bullied in school? Yeah, grade four was pretty brutal for me. I don't remember much of it. I'm not sure if I don't remember much because I, I it was grade four or because the bullying was that bad. Okay. Check out three again. It didn't change anything in the in the menu because the co the cats weren't rendered in, but it added to the mob cap for some reason or something. Okay. When will the goat spawn? There is a goat where. I don't think so. Doesn't look like a goat to me. Mr. Shadow, thanks for the prime. How are you? I'm good. We're just waiting for the last advancement. The goat. Wait, is the C count at 34 right now? It goes, it goes monster, creature, ambient, axolotls, uh, underground water, then water creature and ambient. Wait, why are there 34 creatures right now? Wait, what? That's the ice farm. There's nothing there. It's at 34 still. mobs and how is it at 174 right now oh, 
reicht es nicht bestimmt für. Wait a minute. It didn't go up at all when I pushed the cat through. Fish farm? Fish aren't a uh, part of the regular mob cap. Axolotls are also different. Tamed mobs don't even count. So where are the 34 mobs in the spawn chunks? I'm gonna breed two of these animals and just see if... Actually, we have three horses. I can kill one of the horses and find out if... if horses are contributing to the cat. 34 right now. Now it's at 33. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, there's 11 here. Um, there's 11 here. So that means there's 20-something somewhere else. Okay, those aren't contributing to that. Strider might count the Striders named. The Strider has a name. <laughs> Where are mobs? Creatures? Could it be villagers? I don't think villagers contribute to the creature count. And, you know, there's more than 20 villagers here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like a billion villagers here. Oh, wait, no, can you name villagers? The iron golems? I guess they could be. Do villagers contribute to the mob cap? Bats? Bats are different. You already named the vill- I haven't named the villagers. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh my god. Well, let's see if that went down. It did not go down to 32 after I named this villager. Now we know. Try and kill one of these big boys then, see what happens. Okay, it didn't go down, so golems do not contribute. Still at 33. The value's in F3, don't tell you the mob cap. It doesn't tell you the mob cap, but it tells you how many mobs there are for each type. So we have 33 creatures. That's 32, okay. 31 now. 30, boom, bang. Another chicken? Dang it.
Alright, so we're down to 22 mobs that are in the spawn chunks. It's the fucking bees. It's the bees. A bunch of bees committed void, but they didn't actually die because they just hover over the void. Oh god. Shoot them. I need to find them. find a different mountain area. I don't, I don't think you understand how this works. has to be the bees, right? Like that's the is that the only thing that it could be? Is bees? Squids have a different mob cap. Have a different mob cap chat. There's the fucking bees. There they are, clogging up the mob cap. Damn bees! I cannot believe it was bees hovering over the void. That made goats not spawn. What the heck, dude? Okay, I'll just go to the other wa waterfall there for that one. Just a million bees down here. All the bees that escaped when we were making our honey farm. This is ridiculous. That's why no more cows would spawn either. It's because all the bees are down here clogging up the f mob cap. Because the mobs just stop spawning. It's because the freaking The bees were clogging it up. I thought they died in the void. The further down we go, the more bees appear. How far down am I? 
Okay, still got 30 blocks. Out of arrows, all right. Might be faster just to build a platform. Ugh, build a platform, yeah. What are we at now? What are we at for creatures? 14, there are 14 bees to be murdered. <clears throat> if you just threw a snowball, wouldn't the bees aggro to chase you? Maybe? Could be worth a try. Wouldn't be able to detect you, you don't think? Uh, got an infinity ball? Nah, infinity balls are worse. Yeah, I don't have enough blocks. Why not just rip tide trident them on a rainy day? True. I needed something else, I can't remember what it was. Great, snowballs. Do we have any snowballs? I don't think we actually have any. We're kind of just like nuked, but I, I didn't. Oh, well, we have five snowballs. Some sw Wait, we have some snow layers actually. We might be able to get some snowballs out of that. Bang! We don't need those. Oops. Oh, for infinite snowballs we could but um, you know I think he deserves a break since can you obtain snow layers since like forever ago soap touch baby Frick those I don't need them anymore all right so we got snowball I'm gonna try and piss off the bees I think that's the best course of action here Make the bees mad. Make them mad. I'm gonna hope none of the animals wanna go for a swim.
Do I have anything incredibly valuable on me? Not really. Squids. They can't push me out. Okay, you know what? I'm done with that. Uh, what are we at now for the the entity count? Eight. There are eight bees left. I'm just gonna make a solid platform to stand on so these stupid squids don't murder me. Do I have any blocks in here? Spot of chicken. Damn it. We can get goats now. Yeah, but I need to kill the bees because we're going to need more mobs at home. And uh, just having eight bees hovering in the void is just so annoying. <laughs> eight is enough? Nah. Nah, we got to get more. I'm gonna sleep first so drown don't spawn on top of me. This is not a Dragon Quest song, no. Goats can spawn now, why not just go back? Why not, yeah, just half finish a job and then don't finish. I can't believe you. Just quit your job halfway through. I will not. Do a lava cast? Nah. This is gonna be faster than waiting for lava to fall. This will be faster. Shoot some bees. I have no idea if that's getting okay. So we have what? How many bees on my screen right now? Five? Let's get these ones first. Are they too far away to get hit? I don't know. bees. I will murder all of you. It'll hit eventually. Just really far away. It'll hit eventually. One more. One more. I'm not moving at all. The arrows just kind of go left and right randomly. I can't believe this. It. Feels like they should have hit, right? some more bees anyways. They call him the Bee Slayer. Whoop.
Come on. It, this one is just unkillable, I guess. Oh, I'm shooting over top of it. A B. Alright. Four Bs left. There is one in this direction, so let's build this way. Boom, 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 boom. First try. Oh, yeah, for sure. shot all right where how many there's three bees now they have to be in this way they they, they gotta be over here right you, you would they gotta be other creatures I don't think there would be three other creatures might be getting too far away from spawn I bet they're closer to spawn do we use any creatures in any of our farms I don't think so maybe there's three untamed cats in the village your fish the strider has a name tag the turtles have them could I just video settings There's one B. two more creatures other than this bee. We gotta figure out what they are. Glow squids do not count towards the mob cap. <clears throat> we named the snow golem. Do armor stands count? Axolotls are a different mob cap. Oh, there's the three bees! Holy shit. I don't believe it. It was three bees. Three bees. Bang! Look at this shot, it's gonna be so clean. Bang. Bang. Who's gonna break? I just noticed. A little higher. Higher than the horizon. A little 
higher than the horizon. A little higher than that. Oh, there we go. Zero on the mob cap, baby. Let's go. Sick. We have solved the mob cap goat generation issue. Now, the goats can appear. All because of some freaking bees, man. What a way to exterminate bees with a bow and arrow. Flaming bow and arrow, one at a time. All because of some damn bees. Naming stuff gets rid of them from the mob cap. I actually did not know that, so that's really good information to have. Where's that coming from? Wait, what is that coming from? It should not be there. Actually, you know what I should do? I should keep about a million glow squids at spawn. Like, or I should have the glow squid cap maxed. So, uh,. Close squid stop spawning because they're so annoying. They just jam up everything, man. Rip the sub 201. Sad. Is that a portal? Yeah, there's portals all over the place. What is he doing? Uh, we just killed uh, 30 bees that were just hovering over the void. Filling up the passive mob cap so other enemies or other mobs couldn't spawn. And it made it so uh, we couldn't have any goats. It was heartbreaking. Now that we're done, the goats will spawn. We just have to get there. The creature cap is still at zero. The mob cap's at two though. Wait, why is it at two? Suffocate me, I dare you. I double dog dare you. Okay, I did I don't actually mean it. Don't don't suffocate me. There's no yeah, there's no way. Why don't you leave the wood? It's doesn't look good. You know the classic saying. Um nobody le left leftover wood. It, it ain't good. Burn the wood, like in the rain, or how? Why don't I from top to bottom? Because I'm going up. Is it got spawned yet? No, we realized that the mob cap was being filled up by 30 bees in the spawn chunks that were hovering over the void and it existed there for about a thousand years. And when the world needed the bees the least, they vanished, but still took up the mob cap. That's cute, the turtles try to swim towards this water. No more water for you, turts. Turts more like 
turds. <laughs> Got him. Just tuned in, rip sub 201. Hey, that's all right. We're like basically finished right now. All we gotta do is go boom, boom. Bam, 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 bam. Why is it not letting me? I just... I just wanna get rid of this water, dude. Creatures in the mob cap. Water is weird. Water logging is strange. Alright. Creature cap still zero. It's a good day. And I, I didn't even need to move the cats out, man. This was so unnecessary. That took so long to jam them into place, too. I gotta put them back in the display. This is so pretty. Who's doing this? Alright, time to float a goat at long last. I decree. The goats must float. Damn it. Come on, goats. I summon you. Now it's only a matter of time. It'd be kind of sad if they spawned while I was in the bathroom, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it? I didn't miss it. Okay. Is the creature cap still at... The creature's count still at zero. Let's go. Okay. The man who stared for goats. They despawned. They jumped out. Ah. Dang it. So what now? Go again, it'll be good for the video. Okay, I'll leave one more time, and the, uh, the, uh, they'll go to spawn, right? No, let's go.
How's it going, champ? Come on, goat. Did you do the lucky 360? It's fine. It's all good. I never considered that my headphones might be different weights. One side is heavier than the other and it ripped it off. <laughs> it's all good. That was not a lucky 360. That was the unlucky 360. We're getting our bad luck out of the way now so the goats will spawn. Now. Are those Sennheisers? Sennheis no, it's just Hyperx. I know it's with Panda. They gave me a bunch of free HyperX stuff. And I've actually... I, I have... It's kind of funny. I have... Um, I have these. Which are like... I don't know. You, you can look up the, the price or whatever. Freaking SRH 1540s. They come in like a fancy ass case. But honestly, these like little wireless HyperX things, they're just, I just prefer them. They're just better. They're more convenient in like every way and they just sound like, I'm not like a audiophile or whatever. Like I got these ones and I just use the HyperX ones instead. Like this is like, yeah, these ones are like not cheap. Yeah. I want to go down screen now. I know me too. You're two down low in the Y? No, I'm not. We're at Y86. That is so high. Are your current headphones low latency? I don't know. They don't have much latency. I, if I ever do anything, I hear it right away. This is about a mountain. It's snowy slopes. It's not giving me any goats. A watched goat never spawns. Oh, I'm not watching a goat. I'm watching some gravel. Can you touch your toes? It depends on if my legs can be bent or not. Need to MLG carrot. And then 23 seconds later, you'll find one. Does that count? <laughs> We're gonna see. Twenty-three seconds. At fifty. At fifty. At uh, eleven fifty. Wait, we got a raid. Thanks for the raid. Okay, there should be a goat now. Okay, wait, I did it. I did it wrong. Okay, I just did it wrong. Let me try again. I'll, I'll try MLG carrot again. I'll do it right this time. Okay, here we go. I'll, I'll real MLG carrot.
I, I don't think I got that. That wasn't... Wait, no, 23 seconds. I forgot. I keep messing up the MLG carrot. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, we need to wait until 23 seconds. MLG carrots are so hard. They're the they're probably the at least in the top two hardest MLGs of all time. Oh yeah, I should lower render distance as well. They're like I'll do this 12 and 16 works. Bang. All right, MLG carrot. I need to stop screwing this up. Get dead center in the block. Good. Look perfectly forwards. Toss the carrot. Oh! 23 seconds. A goat should spawn. At 1353. 53. At 53. One. It should have spawned. There should be a goat there. I'll look away and I'll look back. Maybe it's because it was almost nighttime. It was almost nighttime. She usually makes mobs spawn faster for whatever reason on other versions. So maybe five chunks works. You too close? No, you have to be 24, uh, over 24 blocks away, I think. How long are you waiting on a goat? Like three hours, but the reason why we're waiting so long for the goat is because the first hour and a half, a goat just literally couldn't spawn. Um, but we fixed all those problems. You know, at first we had a nice grass platform. Turns out goats can't spawn on grass. We got some gravel. We made a nice gra gravel platform. I thought it wasn't big enough. So I made a bigger gravel platform. And then we realized, wait a minute, why are there 34 mobs loaded in? I thought it might have been, or then, wait, what if, what if it's the mob cap? There's 11 cats in the, in the, uh, there's 11 cats in the spawn chunk. So I moved the 11 cats and I was like, wait a minute, there's 34 mobs in the mob cap. I'm like, oh my God, the 34 mobs are the mobs that are in my passive field. So I named all of them, and then there were still 23 mobs left. And there was no mobs to be seen. It turns out the bees from my honey farm, 23 of them had escaped and were just floating over the void. Leave again? It seems like you guys just don't want me here. <laughs> Fine, I'll go. There are no other barriers to spawning goats. I don't think so. There's nothing else. Maybe if you share some goat trivia, it will show up. Give me a fun fact about goats. A jeep! One more. Wikipedia says that the offspring of a goat and a sheep is called a jeep. Why does it play those sounds?
Give me a random fact about ants. According to Mental Floss, some ants have the ability to clone themselves. What? Okay, but this is too scary. You never high fived yourself. What? Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. That's what you can have. Once we get to that number. I just give me a goat. Do another MLG carrot and then leave for 23 seconds. All right, MLG carrot, episode two, the squeak wool. <sighs> no, I pressed the start button. Oh my God, wait. We gotta try that again. That, that carrot was cursed anyways. Nailed it. And then leave for 23 seconds. Where's the goat? Nowhere to be seen. Hmm. I just want a goat, dude. The goat doesn't want Skyblock to end. That wasn't 20... That, ha that was way longer than 23 seconds. That says wait. You left an hour ago? Did you catch the bee saga? Where we realized that 23 bees were filling up the mob cap and so nothing could spawn? Sub 300 hours, everybody. Yeah, the B plot. How many mobs we currently have loaded? There are zero in the creature thing. Yeah, zero. And we are, let's see. Uh, like 20 something blocks away let's see uh you have to be pack spawning spawn conditions there must be no players within a 24 block radius 
There should be no players within a 24 block radius. And we are definitely 24 blocks away. This is like, yeah, this is, this is over 24 blocks. You, is this a joke? A, a zombie piglin? Imagine a goat spawn and I hit the zombie piglin by accident. I sacrificed a zombie piglin. Give me a goat. They're not even supposed to spawn. What the heck? A pigman before a goat. Difficult theme must not be blah, blah, blah. The mob's collision box must not collide with another collision box. A mob cannot spawn inside anything that would collide with it upon spawning. Number of loaded mobs must be less than the mob cap for that type. The mob types, excluding passives and fish, fail unless 128 blocks from a player. Okay. Has to be within 24 and 64 blocks away. Light level down there, 15, it's daytime. Light level's 15, it's daytime. What should we, uh, what should we talk about? We will wait for the goats. <laughs> Eat a real carrot? I don't think I, do I have, I don't think I have any real carrots. You've probably been swallowing the wrong way your whole life. say it I'm not gonna say it I had a, a massive diss but I held back because it's a little too much and you didn't do anything mean to me but if if you did something mean to me oh it was all over you would have been you would have been like man that was a that was a good one he really he really got you there turn off the lights Where do you vacation? Wherever my friends are. I have no interest in traveling anywhere in the world unless my friends are like, let's go here. And I'm like, okay, I'll go with you. Like, I could not care less about like visiting any landmarks or locations. I need to tell a story? Okay, I will tell a story. About what though? We'll see you in Los Angeles next week. Actually, I, I am leaving. My uncle passed away uh, a few months ago, and people weren't able to get together, but I think I'm seeing some family this weekend. I'm flying out to go see some family. To, it's a celebration of life. I think your dad is COVID. He passed away from COVID. I think I might be wrong, but play some other game while we're waiting. I don't know. Tell us a story about the Great Goat Wars. Perhaps I could. Tell a story about the sawmill. All right. Um. How did the Mario Championship go yesterday? There wasn't a Mario Championship. Oh, you mean the one the day before that. Good, we won. React stream? We could react to something while, while this is in the background. Just keep an eye on the goats. Gonna turn into a it's not gonna turn into a goat a thon. 
Alpharad has a new video out. Do you guys want to watch Alpharad's new video? He recreated Twitch Plays Pokemon. I love I I do too. Twitch Plays Pokemon. I did I well I didn't watch it, but it seemed cool. Uh uh Add Window Capture. Wait, no. Remove. If it ever gets nighttime, you guys gotta tell me. So mobs don't spawn down there. Uh, uh, okay, wait. We gotta go bomb. Oh, do I just do... Okay, window capture. Create new. Perfect. Okay. I love Twitch Plays Pokemon. I mean, who wouldn't love sharing control with thousands of other parasites in Twitch chat? So imagine the joy on my face when niche internet celebrity Doug. Oh, wait a minute. Go. Stop it. Stop making noise. Okay. Cool. If you see a goat. Just scream. Current goal. Spawn a goat. For the final. For the final advancement. All right, here we go. Bang. Let's go back to this one. Yeah, wait, where are you, Google Chrome? You. Okay. Doug Doug reached out to me in my incredible... I love Twitch Plays Pokemon. Whoa. I mean, who wouldn't love sharing control with thousands of other parasites in Twitch chat? So imagine the joy on my face when niche internet celebrity Doug Doug reached out to me in Doug my Doug. incredibly intelligent community eh? to take part in a Twitch Plays Pokemon tournament. Seven of your favorite creators and Point Crow are going to race to see who can beat Pokemon Crystal the fast. Just kidding. We only have to beat the first gym. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine yeah, how, how crazy it would be if we had the whole game? The whole Given game. the original run, I felt like I had a pretty oh, good idea I... on how this was going to go. Going, This is going to be hard because now we need downs. And sadly, I was correct. It took us 20 minutes to get outside of the house. Andy Starter works. Actually, uh, the first gym leader is flying, so preferably not Chikorita. Luckily, this run didn't matter. It's the practice run. Then Doug Doug called all the competitors and laid down the rules. Um, once we all count down and say go, we will all start the code simultaneously. Awesome. Okay. I'm staying true. Even if I don't win, I'm staying until my chat does it. Uh, and our Twitch Plays Pokemon run does has it? officially begun. The first, the first gym? Ick? Or right. the journey of Ick, the Pokemon trainer who never ran into a single inconvenience. Oh, I forgot about the stairs. Okay. Um, down, 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 down. Down and... A. Oh my god, the practice helped. Things were looking better Chikorita, as it so only Chikorita took 10 is minutes awful. this time to leave the house and make it into the lab. Half the time? First starter, Yo. We all hoped wasn't Chikorita. Wait, wait. <gasps> Cyndaquil? That's my favorite part about the original decent? Twitch Place Pokemon was how clever you had to be when it came to nicknames. You would be presented with a letter from the Zodiac Killer, which somehow pulled Bird Jesus out of it. Yeah. But now, it was our turn. Pisser! <laughs> All right, Pisser joined the team. Yep, okay, Pisser, Pisser the Cyndaquil. Pisser we eventually the left the first town, name. battled a few enemies. It's better than just typically pee -pee 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 running away before pee -pee 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 -pee. we could even get the experience from them. But my initial plan was to farm in this first route, grind levels, and then hopefully sweep through the rest of the challenge. But you don't Unfortunately, need to... I did not realize what would happen if Pisser happened to faint. <laughs> right up. Yep. We know we're in here. We're right in here. back why, into why it. Why are people going left? We don't need left right now. Just Wait, so yes, you things could. Aha. Okay, I can. It's mute. as if our team of nearly Easy. five thousand parasites thought about making progress, Almost yet constantly fell inventory. short. True. We did everything we could. They did everything they could to what? What did they do? Ah, you're clever. I like you. Okay to make it to this one ledge, but attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt, it was starting to get hopeless. 
At this time, I started to learn that multiple challengers were in the next town. Some even in, in the that... town after that. Wait, and he's then, not even in... There's me. In Cherry Grove? Left. I tried everything, even ASMR. And then we need an even number of ups and downs. <laughs> Just like life, you know? And we didn't even no, make it to the next only town. ups Everyone for me, spam, thank you. To down to left, or smoke screen! We're gonna black out again, but thank God Citron can't see as well. Is it, wait, is he going back to New Bark we again? We were starting to lose all hope as it looked like we were destined for last place in this content creator tournament. Uh -oh. Which is just embarrassing. Yeah. Being a YouTuber is bad enough, but being the worst one? There are lots of reasons why we couldn't progress in this game, but the main one was mm -hmm. the impossibility for Twitch Shots to make it through this one tile-wide opening. But eventually, they did it. Alright, I'm back in it. Whoa, 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 we did it? Things were made it. Up. What? Okay. This was finally our moment. Suffering. No, you can do it. It'll miss. It'll miss. Oh my god. It'll miss next time. Spam right. You know the drill. Spam right. The tournament was eventually called as Stans defeated the first gym leader in just under two okay. hours. Okay. Stans, of course. <laughs> did you do it? You beat I'd, first gym? I beat first gym. So, the premium no, gamer. We did not make it through. Stans won, though. Um, I don't want to pull that card having fewer viewers does help that that does Anyways, 100% I made a you promise to my people stream. Way no matter what happened I would conquer the first gym mainly since my ego would not have it any other way all mm -hmm. I was going to take was a little advice from my competitors yeah, yeah 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 so the play is to uh you do half believers and half doubters and you command them by that team five minutes later da -da -da. don't do it don't do it. We eventually made it through our eternal struggle and even made it to Mr. Pokemon himself after giving ourselves a little timer as a fun reminder just to see how much time was wasted on one goddamn ledge. Rival battle. Awesome. And we're twice his level. Now it's time to report back to Professor Elm, comment on the robbery we just witnessed, and put a name to the evil force of calamity that is our red-haired rival. Ooh. Ooh. That's not a... Their enemy is the... Is it... Are they actually gonna... I have some jokes written. So onwards to the yeah, next town, the, but we were still scrambling in a million different directions. Honestly, all Twitch chat needed to come together was called, a unified the pause. X. And little did I know Can we that try pause this? would be catching uh, a level three hop. -in. Don't catch the no, hop. Maybe I don't only think so. no splash. We can't train it. Yeah, you don't need that. It, it's switch what fodder. What are we gonna do with it? It's switch and fodder. Her name was Bobby. <laughs> With the sad Babu. face. Somehow, that was the last piece of motivation okay. we needed because Twitch chat immediately started to turn Babu into a religious deity. When in reality, she was just a hop hip who only knew how to splash. And despite that, Ick, Pisser, and Babu trekked onwards and eventually Wait, made Ick. it to the front door. Of I the zoned first out. Gym, Who's Ick? And it only took four measly oh, hours. Ick is him. The two trainers in the He's gym were Ick. pretty easy to defeat since already. Pisser was a fair bit over leveled and was able to carry the weight of Babu, who was still at level three. At this moment, I thought we were finally about to accomplish our initial task by challenging Faulkner and retrieve our first oh, gym bag. Yeah, you got but this. I was wrong. I mean, we just up and right up. You just gotta go up right. Wait, That's why are incorrect. they going down? Somehow, I was being held hostage by my own chat since they refused to let us progress until we all came together and healed Babu. Again, oh. the level three Hoppip who only knew Splash. After to catering Babu. to the high wait, 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 wait. We gotta sleep. Just one sec. I gotta sleep so the goat can spawn. I, I gotta sleep. Just give it a sec. Just... Okay. All right. Uh. All right. There we go. All right. Let's go. Okay. Uh, uh, that one. Okay. The goat chamber. Session. It was finally time to challenge the first gym leader. The first gym. Sure. We might have wasted 20 yeah, minutes making it back into the gym, but as soon as our collective footsteps finally made our way inside, you bet your ass that we made it. Lost. Wait, what? It's a level nine. And now we go back. What happened to smoke screen? we would. Since this would probably take the free thinkers at least another hour to make it back to the gym, and since I had dinner planned scheduled for an hour ago, and since this has already gone on a little bit longer than expected, I did it for them. B -b 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 Alfred, doesn't this compromise the integrity of the run? Yeah, you cheat. Yes. That's... 
The battle against Faulkner was extremely unfortunate since both birds would spam Mudslap and continuously lowered Pisser's accuracy. You, With the abundance of accuracy drops, there was really only one way to save the run. This is switching I, in Bob. You're not a Twitch Alpha Red. And she died. But I guess wasn't Alpha Red is Pisser comes Twitch? in, soaks the competition, and is finally rewarded with an evolution into Quilava. Our challenge was over. We successfully beat the first gym Good one. in record time. For most creators... Oh, wait. Video... Wait, why is there still 23 minutes? This 33 should be minutes. good enough. But for me, it was far from it. I was more than aware that we lost the battle, but I knew that we could win the war. Every other streamer stopped at the first gym mm -hmm. or in a more shameful fashion when the competition was over. But we were going to walk alongside Ick, Pisser, and Babu as a hive mind of thousands of parasites all banded together to set out on the same goal. We are going to complete the entirety no, you're of not. Pokemon Crystal. No shot. I don't believe Since it. Since this journey is clearly going to take a while, be sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed it so far. All Since the way it to red? easy to scroll through literal days of footage. Wait, days? Well, it all started after we got our first gym badge. Yes, I could have turned the stream off, but I decided to leave it running just to see which Twitch I could accomplish on their own. Uh -huh. And the results were genuinely shocking. Sure, the viewers dropped off when I left, but even having 2,000 people come together to train Hoppip sounded like an impossibility to me. I mean, Hoppip doesn't get a damaging move until level 10, but the high yeah, mind couldn't let a DD only no go way. splash. So Twitch chat set out on a goal to switch train our Hoppip, and I gotta say, they this is actually... probably one of the most impressive parts of the entire run. Did they actually Two hours trade. later, Babu successfully learned tackle. Yep, just tackle. Oh, also, somewhere in the, the midst of the Bellsprout genocide, we collected an egg that should eventually hatch into Togepi. Before I left Twitch out alone on their own devices, I requested that they accomplish two things. One, make it through Union Cave, uh -huh. and two, defeat Team Rocket and Slowpoke well. No to shot. my surprise, they handled trekking through the cave pretty well. Yeah, no, Honestly, no the hardest part for the hive mind was just putting the square block into the square hole. Other than that, everything went shockingly smooth. Isn't a we even hatched block. our Togepi He's a person. egg and named it Togepi. Before the hive mind can feel accomplished, they have to make it to Azalea Town. But more importantly, Azalea Town's Poke Center. But oh, we were block. about to meet a rival much stronger than this guy. For Ooh. our fate, Oh, it's the Geodude man. Or with Machop the likes man? of Hiker Anthony. An entirely optional trainer battle, but he had eyes like a hawk, and our trainer was his prey. Pisser definitely uh -oh. had the upper hand. Level but 19, to land just a Ember. Hit when it mattered the most. No. As both Pokemon were just one hit away from the cold hands of Death's Embrace, targeted eyes of Machop would land a low kick that never once had a single chance of missing. This mistake, I kid you not, cost us two whole hours. Making nah, it through just the entrance hours. was hard enough, embarking through the cave only required time, and every it's shallow fine. victory on the other side of that rocky labyrinth that cried unity had He's a lone hiker every time. sitting in overwatch to snipe any trainer who lacked a toddler's amount of stealth. Time and time again, Hiker Anthony squashed run after run after run. But you're getting run. stronger Twitch every time. Twitch was going hopeless, and it was all because you're of an entirely power. optional fight. And then and as Machop him. died to a single ember, it, it, it was really that easy, huh? Hiker Anthony wasn't going to let us get away that easy, and instead insisted that we exchange phone numbers. No. What's nice about wasting two hours on a lone hiker is that everything else feels much more impressive. Like, wow, look at the speed and efficiency of how they cleared out Team Rocket. We really got our act together, Woo. didn't we? Just in time to fight our nameless rival whose team counterpicks us Nameless hard. rival, it's Pisser's X. Pisser's current moveset is Quick Attack, Leer, Smokescreen, and Ember. Oh, but easy. our rival leads with Ghastly. Just don't use Quick only Attack. Be hit by Ember. That's it. You just need that to is not use the quick one attack. and just only don't. attack from our entire party that can hit ghost types. So if we can't kill Ghastly quick yeah, enough, don't. that's it. After blacking out from our rival, we wake up in the Poke Center, and wouldn't you believe it, we released our beloved starter. Not really, but God was it close. Well, Fortunately, yeah, close. before Twitch Chat had to embark on another feeble attempt to face our rival, an incredibly charismatic and handsome hero stumbled in front of them. Oh What's my up? God! I'm back. After chat caught me up to speed, I realized that I would have to fill the role as the eternal ringleader of chaos okay. in hopes of defeating our rival's a guide, pet ghost a and weird duck. He can't play we the notes. We did end up wasting a turn quick attacking and got paralyzed as a result, but Pisser soon came to his senses and re-killed our rival's ghastly. Despite the obscene type advantage, okay. the enemy Croconaw died to I'm an just, onslaught of embers. And I'm there's, there's only 22 minutes left. They must kill the rest of this game. They need 16 badges. They have one. Astonishing how in 21 minutes attack. now all that's left is one simple Zuka. <laughs> Your foes we get him so you we live no, a one bite, got right? this. Might live two. No, we don't Egg, hyper beam Ooh. 
How does okay. it feel, Zubat? The Metronome Supersonic is kind of hype. <laughs> Yeah, don't know how that one worked out either. Luckily, our good friend Hike Anthony called to congratulate us on a job well done, and my chat instantly became violent. So given that we are well past midnight and had an over-leveled fire type on our team, yeah, I trusted Twitch this. chat with control for the night alongside my own personal substitute. Oh, substitute. Their only goal while I was gone was to defeat the bug type gym, which was yeah, done within 30 goal. minutes. Easy. But the true challenge was making through Ilex Forest. Oh, I know they're what gonna you to someone. Oh, is it challenging because it's a surgical labyrinth filled with strenuous and pet? Nope, just one tree. That's it. In hopes of overcoming this treacherous hurdle, Chad ah. collectively caught an oddish name, Christmas, with the sole intention of him being the wielder of HMO one <laughs> It's Tuck. not going to learn, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, they're going to... So <laughs> things did not go according to plan. Yep, as yep, you might have Ember's seen, gone. learn cut instead. It isn't the end of the world, but our fire-type Pokemon no longer has fire-type moves. <laughs> 90 minutes later, and we finally escaped to Route 34. Not a lot to do here except pick up a normal and ordinary egg from the daycare before slamming, uh, um, normal and ordinary. Oh. Hey, Hiker Anthony. <clears throat> before slamming our heads repeatedly into the brick wall that is Whitney from you Golden can do Rod. It. But we had one shining beacon of hope. Shiny Somehow, beacon of hope. We hatched a shiny Cleffa from our daycare egg. Sure, the odds were definitely improved for this specific egg. Okay, good. I'm glad he mentioned it because it is a 1 in 64. Yeah. But, like, still, that's, what? Despite this incredible phenomenon, it's the level 5 did you ever use it? served no tactical advantage in our latest it's level gym six. trials. It's but actually level 6. God, if you look Twitch Chat's ringleader returned to the scene. I offered a ton of help as I was multiple hours late, and by the time I made it back, our oh, it's a 1 in 16? Christmas Wait, somehow it's saved a 1 the day. in 16, uh, so not a 1 in 64. Never mind. It's actually four times the odds. Oop. We beat Whitney, huh? <laughs> Even though I didn't have much to offer at the time, I did bring Jaden. Hey, oh. can they hear me at all? Yeah, they can hear you. Okay. After Jayden leaving the gym, nations. I tried to guide chat on how to get the squirt bottle, but somehow that turned into an hour-long conversation involving Pokemon Smash or Pass. If the Pokemon's anatomy allows it to wear a jacket, like a hoodie, it's furry bait. Technically, Pseudo Udo can wear a jacket. I stand by what I said. <laughs> we eventually received the squirt bottle, talked to our favorite hiker, retrieved an incredibly Pseudo controversial Udo. bird named Kenya, purchased every item imaginable, ran away from Pseudo Udo, and exist. encountered a very important Growlithe with a very important name. Whoa. St stoot! <laughs> stoot? Very astute. That's a good stoot. It's not so stoot, onward it's stoot. to Ecritique City. Oh my god. It's this Anthony town is Hiker. probably the hardest in the entire game. What? Not only do we have a stacked rival battle coming up, but oh. we have the impossible gym that oh. requires 18 consecutive inputs combined with a gym leader who is immune to normal type There's moves. There's no way. We tried rolling up to our rival, but he leads with Haunter, and you know how that one goes. Disappointed in the loss, chat tried to examine the PC to change up their team. They're and if you know things. anything about Twitch <laughs> Plays Pokemon, nothing good happens when you touch the computer. They Fortunately, the worst thing they? that happened this time around was our beloved Pisser simply got deposited into the oh, box okay, alongside some of his dearest friends. Since I didn't want to throw away all of our progress like it was Metroid Prime 4, I propose an offer to chat. One that would put our journey back on tracks, but completely compromise the integrity of the run. Lucky you already me, did that. We didn't have any left. Yeah, you already so did that. So I offered to play for a gentle 60 seconds to put our team back together, but this created a sinister divide in the viewers and created a faction known as the 30%. But as soon as the chat became active once more, did they just go and the release 30 it? deposited Babu in an act of vengeance. <laughs> Upon withdrawing Kenya, the 30% came together and claimed this lone bird not as their god, but as their intrepid leader. The majority fought off the 30% as much as they could, but their passion overpowered the hive Are they going to release in numbers. Given Piss? that I have definitely stirred the pot enough for the day, I just decided to sit back overnight and watch they're going to release rival battle would unfold with the divide between our two factions growing wider and wider. Twitch chat immediately walked back to the rival and successfully spanned flame wheel on every oh, single Pokémon arrival had. Let's go. Given that the only task remaining was to make it through the fourth gym, I decided that I just did not want to watch anymore and gave Twitch chat the keys to our incredibly slow and broken down car. They At this point, the tension between the hive mind and the 30% was growing at a dangerous rate. They're but right there. Only made me oh. more excited to see what I would wake up to in the morning. No progress. So what happens next might surprise you since the hive mind has been historically and consistently inconsistent with following any sense of direction. Did they Yet, actually in the midst of a crime built in the name of passion, they successfully came together for one unified cause. What? To completely fuck over the 30%. 
Twitch chat worship Babu. Like, worship Babu. I don't think I have ever received so much fan art before until this seemingly useless hop hip took the stage. So in order to prepare Wait, how for the are they attack over? the civil war as a result of slamming Babu in the box, the hive mind set out to release Kenya. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta do this. Oh, they're, wait, they're releasing Kenya? Oh, they're so, they're so screwed, dude. I gotta sleep in Minecraft so the goats can spawn. There's no goats yet. Back to the video. The leader of the 30%. Wow, Alvarad, isn't it a bit too scary to release a Pokemon? Yeah, why would you well, do that? luckily, you can release Kenya by completing an entirely optional side quest. Oh. oh, and also, we caught a Magnemite named Abacus, a Magikarp named Magikarp, and received an Eevee named... Uh... An Eevee named Jizz. Yep. With not a lot to do while I was asleep, Twitch chat grew bored since they knew that attempting the fourth gym huh. was honestly a fruitless journey without someone to guide them. It's been a, it's been a hot second, but uh, I think, I He's think uh, we can actually do this gym. Yeah, it's me, Jacob Alfarad. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Haircut. We just put a new sign outside, so nothing like that will ever happen again. I knew that we were unlikely to ever conquer this puzzle as it requires nearly 20 perfect inputs in a row from a less than coordinated team of children. So I did what anyone would do in this situation. Cheated! Cheat. If I was on screen and we magically completed the, <laughs> the puzzle on the first music. try, hell, even if we did it on the 50th try, it would look a tad bit suspicious. So I just made a transparent still image of our substitute doll so I could control the movements without raising a single eyebrow. Man, but no yeah, one would know. this was definitely fake. Don't worry about it, though. The this makes for better content. So Instead of spending the next seven weeks on the puzzle, since I refuse to use democracy mode for two reasons. One, I think it's for cowards. And two, I don't know how to do it. So I just sat behind the one- Dem Democracy mode is for cowards. Okay, you know what? Dictatorship mode is better. I agree. One way mirror as they finally challenged Morty and my exact fear became I agree. reality. I, I, at I first, I didn't like it, in the but gym as buffers for upon... the inputs made it a bit more believable. As I know I don't need to lie about, about it now, again, but yeah. in the moment, Twitch had def dictatorship mode definitely better. Definitely needed hope. They needed something to believe in. So with all of the trainers no longer active, Alpha Rad conveniently and magically just appeared on camera. Whoa. So, uh, it's 1.30 a.m. for me right now. I was just sitting in bed, lie, watching it on my phone, and I go, lie, no fucking way. Yeah, no way, how did <laughs> they do that? I'm just sitting there so watching, crazy. lie, and I think we lost lie. when we opened with cut. Oh yeah, that's true. And on the second time, Morty did not get so lucky. That's the fourth gem. And just... somehow, Twitch chat forgot to deny Pisser well, from evolving. What a huge day to be chat. With four Ooh. badges collected, everything going forward felt pretty simple. Well, almost everything. Oh, Every that's, night, I would always so give Twitch chat a goal while I was asleep. Uh -huh. This time, I gave them their mission and a challenge. Their current task was head over to Olivine, trek through the lighthouse, talk to Jasmine, and keep surfing until you eventually retrieve the medicine that's for the slowly lie. decaying Ampharos who is awful at their job. The challenge, though, that's was entirely optional. 50 rare candies thrown into the PC. Wait, what? A fruitful task, sure, but one with an obviously looming risk. Wait, why did they give them Only a few 50? hours after I went to sleep and the hive mind attempted to retrieve the rare candies. And despite all odds, they were successful in their heist. They got but all 50? It came at a price. Was it Pisser? Christmas? Perhaps even Babu? It was everyone. No. The hive mind accidentally released a Pokemon who never even had a fighting chance. Aki, the shiny Cleffa. On the bright side, they withdrew Babu back into the party. Since we needed a Pokemon okay. to swim through oceans, the hive mind agreed that they should use the rare candies on Magikarp, evolve him, oh, and teach Gyarados sick. how to surf. Yeah. This was a relatively simple plan compared to everything else, yet no, but somehow it's never gonna the work. execution of it took all night. Since spamming start was the easiest way to troll Did people you open in progress, <laughs> Doug Doug wrote the initial code so the start input would only have a 1 in 25 chance of working. So oh. your whole night was dedicated to spamming start. Yeah, I'm start. sorry about that one. But the most formidable victory for the graveyard shift to Twitch chat was that they all came together and successfully deleted Hiker Anthony's number. Ah, Man. now that is what peace sounds like. You just wanted a Believe friend. Believe it or not, this was the moment that brought the hive mind and the 30% back friend, together bro. and finally ended the civil war. And after shaking thousands of hands, we set out on a quest to ride on Gyarados into the morning sun towards the coast of Cyanwood. Okay, Call me a like, sadist. why hasn't a goat spawned yet? Like, there's supposed to be a goat. 
You wouldn't be the first, but I really enjoyed the spice of chaos that adding rare candies brought to the table. So I decided to help out the hive mind at large and give them one lone master ball. Why? They can use it For on what? any Pokemon in the game. They're just so gonna... wouldn't you even be curious to see who they eventually choose? Before that happens, though, we have to challenge Chuck. Johto's fifth gym leader. Surprisingly, Easy. the battles weren't the hard part, but rather the incredibly simple strength puzzle. <laughs> this one is supposed to be just the appetizer of thinking. Yeah. But when it comes to politics, the more you multiply bodies, the more you divide the minds. But now we Try get to battle with Chuck nah, for a chance to earn another gym badge. When it comes to fighting type Pokemon, a high level Typhlosion can simply overwhelm Chuck's roster. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for his Poliwhirl. Knowing that Pisser was in danger, Twitch Chat did the unthinkable maneuver and tried to take matters into their own hands. And we just wasted the Master Ball, didn't we? <laughs> After making it back through Chuck's brain teaser and after Pisser died in battle, I assumed that this run was as good as over. No, but you got to my water, surprise, your Gyarados. Our underleveled Oddish oh. named Christmas triumphs over yet another gym leader in the strangest of ways. Christmas came early, dude. Oh my, wait, that kills. Did they just spam Family him noses? received the medicine, evolved Christmas into a gloom, trekked back towards Olivine City, and grinded levels for our Persian. Oh. We have a Persian, by the way. Wait, Her where, name did is Amy where did that come Upon from? Upon making it back to the lighthouse, we crossed hour 50 and was suddenly ready to tackle the next gym. Jasmine's first Pokemon was her incredibly well-known Magnemite, who perished near instantly due to Pisser's Flame Wheel. But when she sent out her Steelix, we again. just did the exact same thing yeah. again. <laughs> so with our sixth gym badge in hand... Uh, oh, another... <laughs> where did the cat come from? She doesn't need to. Oh my god. With our sixth gym badge in hand, we headed straight towards the Lake of Rage. Oh, but wouldn't you know it? Right? Before our very eyes, Babu ascended into her new form. I then decided to do something kind That's for the actually Hive Mind to celebrate our 50th it. hour together in hell. Return to Goldenrod and give Pisser a quality moveset, which was a direct decision after Twitch Chat yet again removed his only fire move. Since I have wasted over two days watching the blind lead the blind, I switch up the order for the rest of the movesets just to give Twitch Chat a better chance of at least attempting to deal damage. Oh, and since Gyarados okay. never got to receive Manual a personalized control. nickname, I gave the conglomerate known as That's Twitch cool. Chat yet like another this. chance to renew name him a slightly better name for gyarados do, do they just press b okay well. <laughs> so i gave them yet another chance to rename him <laughs> now you gotta pick name whatever you want hi hi you <laughs> <laughs> gyarados is just hi now ding dong hi. my seventh order meal of the stream has arrived Q. i left the stream unattended so i could eat in peace what and happens? that's exactly when my roommate Deanna decided to take control of the stream and what? she got us stuck in a cave that we did not need to enter. So when I returned, we finally made out. it to Mahogany Town right? and Twitch I was busy lamenting about our wasted Master Ball since a world famous Red Gyarados was just one route that away from been us. Cool. So I decided to give our beloved hive mind one, one more chance, their second Master Ball. Mm. How long do you think that lasts? Oh, actually we made it to the shine. Uh oh. They Get another. Okay. We were so close. So I in mean, a fit of rage, we decided to murder the special Gyarados standing next to us. Oops. And on in that way, note, it was time for me to leave. Our next step was to invade Team Rocket's hideout. Gyarados, and given that we've all been through red. a lot together, we started making incredible progress as if I was cheating again. This red? hideout is mainly just a lot of trainer battles, so I wasn't too worried since uh, it could definitely be worse. Yeah. In all honesty, we just kind of stormed through this, which left us ready and willing to conquer yet another gym that hopefully didn't have ice puzzles. Oh, it has ice puzzles. I don't get it. Wait, it has I, not get I genuinely do not understand how we could not get past this fucking ledge, but then we beat the ice gym in under 20 minutes. Like, Wait, they how? <laughs> I honestly expected to wake up the next day to help chat get through this, but here we are. Our next mission was okay, to head that's back good. to Golden Chat Rock doing something Team like that from the radio legendary. tower. And personally, I think this is the most boring part of the entire game. So oh, I was ecstatic that I was asleep. The only important thing you missed was that we overwhelmed High the Gyarados with rare candies, making him the most broken Pokemon on our entire Since team. When do they as have well 84 rare candies? To the second coming of Christ. So yeah, we cleared out the tower, cleared out the underground, and defeated our rival on the first try for the first time. Where did Upon the leaving the department store from? labyrinth, our journey, no, our destiny, guided us to the legendary beast of Suicune at long last. This ah. is the perfect chance to use a Master Ball that we don't have. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, that makes sense. Yeah, Our next okay. destination was the Ice Cave, which only took us 20 minutes. 
to enter the cave. Yeah, probably As expected, this was single-handedly okay. the hardest part of the entire run. So while sleeping in my silly little oh, bed, no, every fiber of my you being was desperately hoping to wake up to a successful venture oh, through the wait. ice path. The strength puzzle expected, at the end. That did not happen. Yeah, never. This is never going to work. Oh, what's up? Yeah, nice I suit. know. I was a bit overdressed for Twitch Plays Pokemon. Looking but fresh. I had a very important day ahead of me. <laughs> And it doesn't break! And I was going out of town in three days to go back home and attend my best friend's wedding. I was secretly oh, pleading for Twitch chat to make this miracle happen. Just leave so alive. I gave up hope and made the miracle happen myself. And wow, the cave becomes a lot easier when you remove the weight of 5,000 people. Yeah. Upon reaching Blackthorn, our first goal was to heal, overcome yet okay. another thin ledge, and then defeat Claire, thus granting us the last and final gym badge. As stated, I had a busy day ahead of me, so I only got Please. to pop in for about an hour before Do they taking do the off puzzle? yet again. Please tell me the they at least did one puzzle up on to their Twitch own. Chat. I thought Claire's gym being filled with strength puzzles meant the end for today's hopes of making it to the Elite Four, but I was pleasantly surprised See? that we swept the gym on our it. first try in a record-breaking two hours. Check and do if it. you've played Johto recently, I'm sure you remember this obnoxious side quest that stems from Claire being a miserably sore loser. So sure, let's venture off to the Dragon's Den, but first, Easy. let's spend an hour teaching Whirlpool to Gyarados. Are you answering? The goats are not gonna... They will spawn. The goats will appear. Where, where's Minecraft? It's just a matter of time. When will you trust us? I will. I will trust you. Once the goats never spawn. If the goats never spawn, then I'll trust you. But the goats will spawn. We, there's literally, we, if there's nothing that I've forgotten, we have 100% made sure everything works. They're just rare. The, go the goats are just rare, okay? They're just rare spawns. Okay, where's Chrome again? Here it is. To admit, Twitch chat is getting faster at stuff like this. So after receiving our Starting eighth gym badge, yep. our next stop was a long, long walk back to New Bark Town, which honestly filled me with such nostalgic memories of a mental breakdown I had just a mere three days ago. Before trekking towards the Elite Four, we made a quick a pit stop Ball. to receive our third Master Ball Woo! from Professor Elm. Does chat deserve it? No, no, definitely not. But let's see what we catch. Yeah, what At the time get? of writing the script, I genuinely didn't even know we got this Master Ball. I don't it's... even know what we caught. And I am so prepared to be just as disappointed as you are. It's just but like, throw. what if we Wait. ran into a roaming legendary? There's Could no you way. imagine that? So now that we're officially in Kanto, it was There's finally no way. time to tackle the he's infamous victory the, road. He better Since not I was still that away and very busy, not have it Twitch chat definitely took their sweet time and even ran into a full odd shiny gold bat along the way. The perfect Actually. specimen to use a Master Ball on. Only one hour later, and we've already <laughs> defeated a rival for the final time before yeah. walking onto the steps of the Elite Four. I was hoping to make it back home by the time we nope. got to the Pokemon no, League, but to already. my surprise, they made it, and I was not going to stand in their way. If only Hiker Anthony could see them now. It took a while for them to find their first opponent, but once they did, Twitch chat trashed oh, Will in 54? record time while not even losing a single Pokemon. Yeah. Surely Easy. Lightning wasn't going to strike twice in a row, right? No, Fire Punch and all the way did. through. The Hive Mind has redeemed their Easy. earliest downfalls with the Catalog a shocking so amount of surgical precision through the entire late game. Yeah, their next fire opponent was Bruno, and in it's case easy. you're just tuning in, this is the third member of the Elite Four. It's time for the Elite Four, baby! Wait, I missed one, didn't I? I you think Chad seemed incredibly capable and was perhaps stronger without my guidance because as soon as I joined, everything crumbled around us. From the very yeah, start, I told Twitch Chat that I would buy them some solid items, oh. rearrange movesets based on the TMs they found, and balance out the levels just a bit to give them the best chance of winning possible. Mm -hmm. With so much help, you probably think that I'm essentially giving them a win and there wouldn't be any challenge at all. Yeah, well, no challenge at all. you should be right. Apparently losing is very possible. So we tried again. This time making it back to Bruno, but unfortunately Onyx consistently swept our entire team. Onyx? Ironic, I know, but there has to be something we can do about this. No, 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 no. Planning has never gotten us anywhere. Onyx. It has always been about doing. I guess so a right fire now, punch should have swept I think it. All we should do is grab Twitch chat by the wrist and do the elite harder than anyone has ever done before. It all comes down to one final fight. This is it. The, the flying no. type trainer Lance. I feel nervous. I feel excited. I feel it, this is the climax. He opens with Gyarados. Oh, what do we want? And it missed. Not a great omen for what Not we have. Great. Rain dance, which is scary. But uh, we're fine. We can live one more. This sounds crazy, but like Pisser is our best option. Okay. No, oh, no he's Babu, not. Babu, 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 Babu. I guess no, no, no. Babu's Babu fine in the rain. Babu is 
resistant to water. Surf, I think, okay, it, the Wait, rain what? does hurt a little bit. Oh, Babu takes those. How is it better in the rain? Beam. This is fine. Guarantees he cannot heal next turn because if Leech G doesn't kill in one turn, it'll kill in two. Crit? A crit on Hyper Beam? Rip, Babu, Babu has laid the foundation Dude. for us. All we have to do is live. Isn't this has to the recharge. first Pokemon? Leech Seed, dead. He resists it, but we are really strong. But it is paralyzed. So even if it's not very effective... That does a lot. Fire Punch kills now. If we can keep Thunder what? Punching Dragonite still... Wait, did he get paralyzed every single turn? Condition. That's how... We can do it. Good swap. Humass. Uh, not, not the best. Not the best. Sleep Powder, though. We got one more Sleep Powder hit. Wow. That's huge. Um, sir? That's huge. Super effective and move. And they, they managed yeah. to switch? Yeah. How did they... Drake Cloud for high? Okay. Chat. Who was... The... Okay. They're no, having I, such I good switches. Here. I want to get too ahead of myself. Sir. Perfect. The highest no, damaging move not... we had. No. And he resisted, yes. But, yeah. like, we're just so... We're level. I think the damage... I think it compensates. We live one thunder. I think we live one thunder. And it doesn't hit. You don't, you don't he live one he thunder. Come on. Okay. One more I mean, Dragonite. Well, technically you did live one thunder. Hide the Gyarados missed, into the Dragonite isn't. Gauntlet. Okay. No. Run it. Run it. Spam Surf. He might kill us. He might kill us. Safeguard. Don't I don't idiot. give a shit about Safeguard yeah, right safeguard's now. Safeguard's doing okay, nothing. It would be nice to have water for Charizard. I do agree. Uh -oh. But it just doesn't look like it's in the cards. Hi. You did a... Oh. What? Not yet. Not yet. To so somewhere else. Somewhere else. Maybe a different Pokemon. Uh, we are paralyzed, and he's just gonna use Outrage, which is. Wait. What? Oh no! Oh no! AI oh, cheated. No. Oh no! Oh no! 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 We need to crit. We. Oh, you can get paralyzed. No. Outrage too. Well, he's confused. He's confused because Outrage. Hit. Yes. Oh my God! That was so lucky. Ooh. Oh my god, can we keep getting lucky on confusion? Is this going to get a crit? We need to heal. We need to heal, though. Wait, no oh my god, shot they are? heal. No shot. Oh my god! Full restore on Typhlosion? In a moment like this? That is real clutch, actually, oh, though. We won! Oh That's my god, high. and he wasn't going to be confused again. That was such a clutch. You guys have never used an item properly before, and the one time we needed it, it happened. Well, you gotta, okay, well, you okay, we're, we're good with time. you. We're, we're, we're yeah. good. His ace is dead. Send out Charizard. It's our starter versus his. Thunder Punch. Oh, one hit KO. Easy. Super effective. Easy. One more. One more. One more. Oh, yeah, you're taking we a flame do not thrower. care. You don't care. Chat. We did it! Just one more hit, anything kills! Now how are they gonna be red? Against all odds! We did it, Chad! And just like that, 80 hours later, we finally completed Pokemon Crystal. What a journey we had. This run was proof that it truly does not matter how many times you get knocked down, or rather oh. how many times you're willing to get it back up. This okay. was one of the most, no, the most memorable experience of my entire YouTube career. That and hopefully, cool. I will see you in Kanto when the Wait. time's right. When the time's right. Okay, he's keeping, no wonder he has to subscribe. We gotta see part two. Ah, oh, I'm sure you're curious about what we used the final Master Ball on, right? Well, you I was too. After finishing the script, I combed through the footage and did not see a single new Pokemon caught. Do you know why? Well... It's because we fucking threw it away. All right. He is doing the whole thing. Oh my god. All right. Last year I got bored and made this list. I, okay, okay. D good, good video. That was Alpha Red. Check him out. Alpha Red's cool. Wait, what? What? What is? Was everyone kicked Wing yet? What did I do? Wait, why is everyone laughing? Oh, when they toss the master ball. Oh, oh, that's right. Because you guys are like really m mean like that. I forgot. Bang. All right. Let's see if there's any goats. There's, there's probably at least like there's...
Why or why? We've been here for like four hours, bro. Okay, wait, okay. This is this is uh Y or Z two twenty two. So we need to be at least 46 for them to spawn. Ah. Bruv, you're in the plains by them. Oh, yeah? But where are the goats? In a freaking snowy slopes. Every little section here is all snowy slopes and goats can spawn on snowy slopes i'm in plains but the goats are on the slopes go higher it's elevation doesn't matter bro it doesn't matter here literally literally okay wait let's let's take a look let's take a look at sign look through the game code all right, at sign, look through the game code, and here's what he said. I've checked the Minecraft code for the goat spawn conditions. For frozen peaks, jagged peaks, and snowy slopes, goats are, in fact, added to the mob spawn settings for those biomes. Goats can spawn on, and then he writes a code thing. They can spawn on snow, powder snow, snow block, packed ice, and gravel. And... um. Public static boolean check goat spawn rules entity type extends animal p underscore one eight six two five six level accessor p underscore one eight six two five seven underscore comma space mob spawn type p underscore one eight six two five eight underscore comma underscore block pause underscore p underscore one or space p underscore one eight six two five nine underscore comma space random P underscore one eight six two hundred underscore right parentheses space left curly bracket return a bunch of other garbage. It just checks that the block is spawnable. Anyways, in short, it means that it does not do an elevation check. All it does is it checks that the block that a goat can spawn on is there it checks that everything is all good it's just a matter of time it's just a matter we just gotta it's just a matter of time doesn't spawn on snow slabs yet it does it says it can spawn on slow on snow what is this snow I'll clear it out for the fans. It just sucks. <laughs> Shiny horn. Thanks for the 16. Build more platforms? I don't want to. It didn't take this. I think we're just getting really awful luck. We're, we're just getting terrible luck. That's all. Just some bad, bad luck. Once we start getting some good luck, it'll fix it. Did that sign see the code for 118 or 119, though? Uh, That's 118 code, because it was missing two of the biomes, and then there was an issue in 118. Uh, at sign specifically checked 118 one, it looked like. ba ba da da ba da 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 Goats won't spawn on anything below light level 7. Okay, but it's light level 15 right now, right? If I go to the light level, let's see. Light is right here. Client light. 15. 15 sky. It says zero block, but I'm pretty sure, like, that doesn't really matter, does it? Unless it does. It's a zero block, but it's it's touching the sky, so like it wouldn't it wouldn't matter, right? Mm. 
Zero block does not matter, yeah. If I put some torches, I don't need to sleep. That's true. I could just AFK for like a year. Torches would prevent the snow anyways. Yeah. And maybe I could call Mojang. Put snow down in the shape of a goat to summon it. Okay. What are what's a goat shape look like again? It's got legs. It's got some legs and it's got like a body. I guess. And then it's got like a little tail. Oops. Yeah, I keep using the goat emote. Okay, it's got like a, a neck. Um, I should have start. I should have built this one further down. Okay. Uh, uh, it's got a little little beard going on. It's got like a horn. That's a pretty good goat. This is not too bad, right? That's okay. That's a decent goat. Maybe maybe a little longer on the feetsies. Let's go. It's not a bad goat. Each time. scared sorry that was a little much <laughs> the goat must appear Alright, there's one thing that we're missing. It's the MLG carrot. If I can land this MLG carrot, the goat will appear. Let's watch another video. Do you, is, do you really... Is it, would that really be... Productive? MLG carrot, ready? yourself right up right like so there we go <sighs> does it count i don't know if it counts or not Smack, can we play smo please right we need to do the official release of super mario odyssey online there's flesh in everything. I made a goat and flesh. What else do you want? Are your render settings too low? It's five chunks. You should have maximized spawn chances. I'm doing goat remixes, but I'm gonna get copyright claimed, so never mind. That was a goat saying, Yeah. 
now this whole vod is everyone the the biggest most intense moment of the whole stream is going to be muted hi youtube you i bet you can't even hear me right now what dummies what if we just mlg from higher up what if that's what we need to do you know Please, spawn a goat. I just one goat to finish Skyblock. <laughs> Goats have a much lower chance of spawning after world gen. Apparently, dude. Gonna have to AFK here for a couple of years. You need a sacrifice? I'll sacrifice myself. <laughs> well, I survived by some miracle. Wow. Do it from higher up? I cannot. I cannot do it. Do a starter tier list? I, I, okay. Tier list of every Minecraft block. What do we even do? Even after the B arc and no goat, it's just really rare. I double checked and there's nothing that's wrong. Like, we've read, we, we literally looked through the game code. This should work. This should do it. You can cheat. No, I can't. Nah. What if it's because of climate change, the goats are going extinct and they won't respawn? Just get wood slabs and make the snow go to boat. I could make the snow go to boat and just call it. That would be the final advancement. Snow goat boat. Put slash summon on a sign. We'll try it. Hey! Goat, please appear. All right, here's, I've been, I've been given some insider information that apparently will work. All right. Why isn't it working? It's not working. Oh, it's at... Oh, my God. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's this, right? Is this... this is, uh, is that the syntax? Tish. 
sure that would work. Sacrifice 11 ink sacks and it will become reality. One. 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 Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. MLG water bucket? I did that already. I did one of those. Aw. I almost did a cool one. Alright. The game thinks it's a cave. Yeah, because of the ceiling. Right? I'm trying, I'm trying again. The goat's still there, it's fine. It's chill. Nailed it. Is there a goat yet? This is what we want. Can the area be bigger? But then I'd have to walk home. Doesn't even need walls. It's so the goats don't knock me out when they inevitably spawn. It's not a sled. It's a boat. We need a goat in a boat to float a goat. We need to float a goat in a boat. A thunderstorm. What light level is thunderstorms? Why are mobs spawning on the goat platform? No. They're ruining the goat! I gotta go fix the goat now. Ugh. Okay. <gasps> you, you, you. What happened to the goat's face? It was, it was that, right? That seems wrong. Is that it? No, no, this one's kneeling.
That's a little beard. I think that's right. I am, imagine now an elephant will spawn. Don't make fun of me. It's perfect. Look at it from above. Clean. Or whatever it goes. The nose was smaller at the top. Yeah, I think the nose stuck out a bit more, actually. <laughs> Apparently, goats spawn really rarely after world generation. Or something. I don't know. They won't spawn, bro. My back hurts from sitting in this chair. I'm going to call it a day. Um, I'm going to AFK here and we'll see if by next next time there is a goat or not. Because my back hurts because this chair is awful. I guess it wasn't the final Skyblock stream after all. Let's find someone to raid. When is next time? Next week. We will do it next week for sure. person who is directly below me in the Minecraft category. All right. I don't know what they're doing or who they are, but we're raiding them. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean Monday, because today is Friday. Be a good week next week.